I survived 100 days on a raft in Minecraft Hardcore. I guess falling asleep on a piece of wood while in a hurricane isn't the smartest idea. Now I'm trapped in the middle of the ocean, or a very large pond, and I need to finish these goals I set for myself. I want to transform this tiny, disgusting raft into a massive, beautiful raft base. Seeing how I'm alone out here, I also need to create my own villagers. Yes, create them from nothing. And lastly, I need to explore the nether and conquer it. If you want to see bloopers or funny moments from this movie, you should go subscribe to my second channel. Also, 30,000 likes and I'll upload 200 days on here, or the actual rap game. If you enjoyed this movie, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe. And lastly, if you'd like to see sneak peeks at future movies or to talk to me, go follow my Twitter. Now, here's me surviving 100 days on a raft in Minecraft Hardcore. Enjoy. Dude, is this tree ever gonna grow, like, at all? Oh, <laughs> is that a baby jelly? Oh my god, hi. Oh, that's a barrel. Oh, that's a barrel. Ah, this place is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's getting closer. What are you? Go away. No. And then let's just go around and start collecting up all of these before they despawn. Oh, hi. No. Uh, oh my gosh, I will never stop saying this. It's just so beautiful. Trust me, like you're not even sitting. That's weird. Uh, you're friendly, right? <laughs> okay. At the end of all Ah, oh, man, I sure love being out in the ocean, but I don't like being stranded out here on a raft. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, um, at the very least, at least I don't really have to go do anything. You know, I just have all these supplies right here for me. Wow, this is so nice. Wow, this is so easy. So the nice thing about this is how um, my fishing rod doesn't have any durability whatsoever. You know, I could just keep on collecting everything. And my word, we're actually getting really lucky with all this wood. I promise you, I'll get better at sniping these things. I'm only bad for right now. <laughs> I'm curious, what happens if I were to go into the water? Okay, so far nothing, so I'm not seeing any downsides to actually going swimming. Okay, and very luckily there's no like sharks or anything dangerous. Okay, so nice. The only issue, um, I don't, oh my god, wait, is that a shark over there? Oh, cool, cool, yeah, no, that, that's a shark, um... Okay, so I, I do have to be careful. The other part is that um I kind of just have to wait for all of these supplies to, you know, keep appearing around my raft. So, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be really slow and painful. Um, yeah, trying to think of what's going to be the best thing to build first. <laughs> Okay, so luckily, I keep on getting oak leaves as they uh, keep spawning in in here. And, of course, you know, we could use this for decoration, expanding the raft, all of that super, super good stuff. Or, I can break them and then just keep on praying that I get a uh, oak sapling. And then the real game actually starts. Can I even reach you from over here? You see, I kind of don't want to go into the water and experience a shark attack. But, hey, you know, I'm down to try out everything once, why not? Also, we should probably stay on top of food, so I think think it's going to be a good thing to actually fish. <laughs> Plus, it'll give me something to do. So I spent the remaining time of today just fishing, ending up with string, a barrel, and a lot of fish. Really nothing else. Also, looking at the surroundings, this shader pack is really, really beautiful. So in case you're wondering what I'm using, it's Kappa. Hey, what's up? So uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. The one thing I'm curious about is a barrel. So if you've played the original game, like actual raft, when you get barrels, usually they come with stuff in them. Ooh, and so does this. Okay, and here's the fast way to actually uh, mine it or actually collect, collect everything inside of it boom so we do that and now i'm just gonna leave the barrel right there so now whenever i get stuff i could just put it into here and i don't actually have to hold on to any of it also we should really probably make a crafting table and we need one more dang it <laughs> Oh, but we got oak sapling. Oh, we have dirt. Oh, wait, can I get more? No, I can't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, gimme, gimme. I need you so badly. No, 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 no. Don't go away. Don't go away. Please, nothing get me. Nothing come for me. Yes, give me. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. So now with all of that, we now have one wool blocks. So that's amazing. And we now have a furnace, which this is incredible. Oh, wow. Okay, these items are coming a lot faster on day two than day one next up though obviously i can extend my raft to make it a whole lot bigger but i don't know if 
if I want to do that around here because I don't know if all of these dropped items like only spawn around my raft or if they just spawn around me regardless of where I, I am in the ocean. Because if they spawn around the raft, I kind of don't want to extend this out or else all of the items might end up underwater. And that might cause a huge issue. <laughs> given uh this is how i'm getting all of my supplies so yeah i don't know if i want to do that however it really wouldn't hurt to actually start a tree farm uh directly right here <laughs> what whoa okay uh welcome back to existence i hope you had fun in the quantum realm and now basically i, I think i just continue what i've been doing <laughs> And once again, I just spent the entire day fishing. Luckily, the tree did grow, which kind of surprised me. And one thing that I noticed while collecting some of the blocks that would spawn in the ocean is that I saw a tropical fish kind of really far from my raft. So maybe items spawn everywhere and we're kind of safe to actually build out the raft. And right as the sun came up, I immediately got to uh, destroying my raft. <laughs> Something that you probably shouldn't do if you're stuck out in the ocean. However, I swapped it all out for slabs, so now I have more wood. Then, after that, I just got back to collecting, like, every single block that would pop up in the ocean and to fishing. As you see, um, I'm kind of after enchanted books. But instead of that, uh, I actually ended up with a name tag. And then, at the end of the day, I got something really interesting called a diamond crate. And I got an achievement for it. Something about the ultimate fishing reward, so... Yeah. Okay, so, before I check out the cube is that a tiny end city is that a baby jellyfish oh my god hi okay yep no never mind never mind yep don't touch the wildlife uh, i got it okay okay i'm sorry um yep jellyfish still suck he's yeah oh it's one of the wait uh not a cuttlefish i, I forgot the name of them but oh okay I, th I think it's friendly not too bad you know I'm, I'm getting to know the neighbors now the most important thing is um what is this? Uh, okay, um, I kind of regret putting it down. Um, I can't open it and I can't break it. So, so far, it's really not that good of a prize. Okay, so maybe I just need... Ooh, nice. Okay, we now have two. So maybe I just hopefully need to only make a cobblestone pickaxe, hopefully, right? Okay, it's actually breaking. What? Oh, shift click to open. Wow, I should probably read more. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh, you mean shift click when it's... Oh, okay, wow. Um, uh, Cut that from the video. The, uh, no, one, no one needs to see that. That's okay. I'm shifting and I am clicking. I'm shifting and I'm breaking. Uh-huh. Am I missing something here? Uh-huh. Well, I'm sure whatever it is, it's totally totally uh valuable and important um i'll leave it for future me because i cannot figure it out and i i'm kind of losing interest in it i'm not gonna lie Ooh, at least i get a refund on my cobblestone pickaxe so that's nice now can i get some more barrels uh no nope. i'm feeling like pewdiepie right now i wouldn't mind some dude is this tree ever gonna grow like at all oh <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And then the rest of the day was just more fishing. Finally, the tree actually grew. I made a stone axe and wow, would you look at that? It breaks instantly now. And yet still, I I can't figure out how to open up that diamond crate. I, I really don't understand it. Yeah, you stay over there, bud. I really hate you now. You hurt. <laughs> Okay, so as much as I'm enjoying this really tiny raft and, like, not really having any space to, like, live, I think what we do is, uh, we use up a lot of the jungle planks, make them all into slabs. Wow, that was actually, like, weirdly perfect. So now, starting from the center, honestly, I just want to get away from this little raft just to be safe, you know, in case the items only spawn around the raft and not me. So this way, when I'm all the way over here... I can actually build a nice platform, have it nice and big, and I don't have to worry about any of the items. Or we get super duper lucky and the items also spawn around here. Okay, so this should be far enough. And then, uh, 
Ah, perfect. So I think this should be a very good size for like a starter platform. And then I know I'm never going to be getting uh, jungle logs or jungle wood ever again. So if we're lucky, okay, so we'll have three that just doesn't look right. But um, yeah, we'll just have the jungle logs be for like the bridge and everything, you know? And, uh, now, okay, please give me the string. You're, you're embarrassing me, thank you. Oh my God, yes, more string. Oh, please give me four total. Okay, I, I give up. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I just want the string. Please leave me alone. He's going to wait for me. And now, until I can get some gravel, which I'm honestly curious if I can get gravel from fishing, but I, I want to say no. However, now we can move the tree farm over, which, wow, I only have three. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to just stay over here instead of going back to the platform and then just seeing if any items do spawn. Huh? Survivors survive five days? Thank you? That is not an item. That is not an item. Okay. Oh, barrel. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, barrel. Thank you. Please be good. Please be good. Uh, oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Wait, that's the exact amount of string that I need to make a bed. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Uh, we'll just start leaving everything over here. Okay. Honestly, let's just move everything over this and then we make you. Oh my God. Finally, I can fall asleep. Let's break all of this stuff. Oh, beautiful. The raft is open up again. So I do believe that every single item only spawns around the raft. However, building out here, I can at least get like kind of closer to all of the items so that I can keep on missing them with my rod. Wow, the, am I really not getting close to it? Please, come on. What is, oh God, no, no, don't, no, no. You never need to come over here, it's okay. Okay, so all fish stuff are just gonna go into here. I have so much of it. Am I going crazy or is it raining? I swear I'm hearing rain sounds. Wait, yeah, cause that's wet. Oh, okay, so they take a while to form. Okay, cool. Oh, you're cool. It's like a flying fish. Oh, that thing's awesome. So now I can, uh, where'd you go? Okay, there you are. So now I can actually put the jungle tree here. Ah, ugh, that can grow on one block, right? Like, I don't think I need multiple. Honestly, I have no idea because I've never grown uh, jungle trees before. <laughs> However, uh, need to collect all of you. Don't touch me. Don't come near me. Okay, so if we can continue getting lucky and getting more barrels, that would actually be incredible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Would very, very much so love to continue uh, getting those. Okay, and then in the meantime, so when I was fishing, I actually got lucky and I got some bones. So we do have six bone meal. Do I dare? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we can actually just grow with one. Yes, yes, give me, give me. No, we'll come back here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and then can I get lucky and get another? Of course not. Oh, <gasps> barrel, barrel, barrel. Oh, barrel. We might want to extend that raft. Like we really might want to. So now, oops, how lucky am I? Uh, we'll put it over here. Please be good. Nice. Okay. I actually don't mind that at all. I believe we have every single tree now and I do. Okay. So I have five iron nuggets. Not the best, not the worst. Um, Okay, so given we do have a lot of tree choices, ooh, I also need you. I do want to start a tree farm soon, <laughs> but we need to find gravel. I could have sworn you can get gravel from fishing. I think I've been disappointed by it before. And gimme, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I think once every five minutes, I just need to go over there and start collecting everything because yeah, we need to be busy. We need we need to do we need to do some stuff. Okay, first up, very quickly, boom, boom, boom. Make these, yes, okay. So now I can just get lucky, go around and extend this platform, which I honestly, I don't know how big I wanna make this thing, but I do believe that I just want this to be the hub. Cause at least for making trees and having like a mob farm, villager area, I think I'm gonna make everyone like their own spot. Which now that I'm building this, I'm kind of regretting making it a square. I kind of really wish that I made it a circle, but eh. I think for now, we'll just leave it as a square and then all the future builds, we'll just have those as circles. Plus then this way we could tell that like, oh yeah, this is the main hub. Okay, and then honestly, uh, man, I, I feel bad for doing it because I feel like it's really boring, but honestly, I think I just spend the rest of today just fishing and then maybe getting lucky enough to get uh, more bones. Cause I mean, yeah, I could go and make a mob 
farm right now, like a mob spawner. But I'm kind of like against doing that because I don't really have that many blocks. <laughs> so that might not be the best. Ooh, however, one thing we can do right now is make a composter. So now every time that I get like leaves or something, instead of saving them or, uh, you know, breaking them for saplings, especially since I'm good on saplings. Now we can just come over here, put all of these into there. And wow, that was like nothing. Um, okay. Wait, can I, wait, 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 is there any kelp? Can you use kelp in a composter? I honestly don't know. Can you leave that in the comments? Uh, I actually don't know. Okay, well, just looking around the immediate area, I don't think we're going to get lucky and get any kelp. So yeah, I think it's just one big waiting game. <laughs> Now, I really hate to do this, but I spent today fishing as well, as it's still just a waiting game. To start off the day, I was welcomed with a barrel, and also a barracuda, who would not leave me alone, especially when I hit him. Uh, apparently, it really didn't like that. Uh, it didn't like it so much that it actually started to attack me through the slabs, so yeah, that, that was really fun. I think I now realize why the map creator made the raft out of blocks instead of slabs, but um, other than that, we did get some trees, so I did get some wood so we can make some kind of progress maybe kind of probably not and then just to be safe just so i can get some more building materials so i can build for more than just two minutes so one thing that i want to ask while i'm doing all of this fishing and pretty time lapses would any of you be interested in 100 days and the actual game raft because i do want to do other games than minecraft but i'm kind of curious how many of you would actually like to see that game so if you want to leave a comment something like i would love to see the raft video game or I don't know, something like that Oh, and also when I was fishing almost right off the bat, I got a wooden crate. So I have this wooden crate and uh, I, I kind of have a very uh, worried feeling that this is the exact same thing as the diamond crate because when I shift click it, Unless it means control click. No, uh, uh, nope, still not that. Okay, so it's not placing it down. Uh-huh. Um, I, I just, I know that there's good loot inside of these things. Like, it, it has to be worth it. However, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it right there with the diamond one. And I also got a barrel one of the days, so... Whoa. Okay, yeah, you're definitely very nice. Thank you. And hopefully with this, I can get one bone meal. Thank you. Now, please grow. Okay, yep, I hate you as well. Oh my god, please go away. No, 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 no. Why, why are you angry at me or something? Another reason why I was fishing all of those days, like kind of in a row, is just so I can get food because I'm kind of really low. Oh yeah, another huge thing that I got while fishing... This enchanted bow, which is punch one and power three, which has 42 durability left. So I can't really use it, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I'm coming, my precious. Wow, this is so much easier when everything is just within spitting distance. And I spoke too soon. Okay, please. Okay, come on, please. Okay, don't don't embarrass me. I can't lie. I actually really, really love this mechanic of uh, having blocks just spawn there for me. Okay, beautiful. We actually have food, and we do actually have a lot of wood, so we can at least go around and actually start filling in this entire area, which I can now actually start placing down like some dirt on it. So we can actually make a tree farm and actually start getting wood a whole lot faster because I do need to make at least part of the tree farm strictly for fuel. Because of course, I can always just go straight to the ocean floor and then just start uh, like making a mine shaft and, you know, getting coal that way. But I feel like this is more fun. Plus, I feel like this way I can actually restrict myself from like using certain game mechanics or like playing a certain way just to make it a little bit more difficult and have more fun, at least for now. <laughs> Oh, nice. You actually grew right when I hit record. <laughs> okay, beautiful. So we got a lot of these and we have a lot of those. So I think if we just kind of continue this grid pattern and then we just keep on planting more trees in the beginning, it's going to be unbearably slow, but I think within like a day, maybe two, we'll finally be zooming on wood and then we can actually start playing the game. <laughs> Then hopefully I have enough wood right here. Finish up this. Beautiful. Okay, and then hopefully you're enough slabs. Yes, okay, perfect. So now our platform is finally completed. Most definitely, it is not going to look like this forever. Whoa, what are you? Wait, please don't tell me that's a, like a guardian temple, right? Okay, well, I can't see anything. Uh, do we dare? Oh, wow, there's a lot of items for me. Hello, don't worry, I'm here. Hello? I can't move it. Hello? So for me to move around the fishing rod, I just have to use like the number keys. Okay, got it. Also, God. 
God, I love having a tree cutting mod. I honestly don't think I can play Minecraft anymore without it. It's just so convenient. It honestly just feels so much better than having to cut it down like one block at a time. Now, since we have so many saplings here and I don't think we're ever, you know, gonna run out of them. Wow, you grow really fast. What we can do is just start using this for bone meal as well. Oh, <gasps> that's a barrel. Oh, that's a barrel. Oh, you have good stuff in you. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, there's two. Ooh, man, you spoil me so much. Okay, pretty please have good stuff in you. Wow. And not too bad, especially more jungle saplings because that is my last one. Oh, we can actually make one iron ingot, yes. And then I think we'll have fun and actually make a boat. And then, you know, I kind of want to see what that is at least. Uh, probably in the morning. It's probably a lot safer to wait. <laughs> Okay, and then before setting out, wow, look how much easier this is. Like, I don't have to swim. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Okay, ne ne never mind. Okay, wait, maybe it's not as good as I was thinking. Okay, so first up, just because it's an eyesore and, you know, it's very clear that there's something there, let's go check out this one. Wow, this place is so beautiful. Hello, buddy. Uh, well, at the very least, I can make glass out of this. Oh, okay, so you got a chest. Huh. Funny enough, that's actually really useful for me. Not bad, okay. I believe this is all vanilla. I don't think this is a mod. Whoa. <gasps> Wait, there's actual land? Wait, there's actual land? Why does it not look friendly over there at all? Wait, that's sand? Interesting, okay, so I found dark sand. Okay, nice, we have another one. And, oh, I have another stone axe. Wow, that's really funny. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be needing all this. Ooh, and I'm stupid. I'm I'm very stupid. I thought <sighs> I don't know why. I thought it said buried treasure map, not regular map. Um, my fault. Uh, anyway. Oh my god. Oh <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, it's sugar cane. Oh god, but do I use this? Like, yeah, oh man, is that too cheap? I feel like I'm cheating right now being on here. I'm not gonna lie. Is it just sand here though? <gasps> Ooh, a shipwreck. I don't feel like going into a shipwreck is cheating. Okay, so we have another shipwreck out there to our right. But let's check out this one first. Oh god, this place has a lot of eels. Okay, we're gonna have to be kind of safe. And hopefully nothing comes for us. Oh my god, okay, hello. <laughs> yep, I'm in love, hello. Oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Wait, that did say buried treasure. Wait, they both do, but they don't have anything? Okay. Okay, and then we'll do one last stop right over here. Hello? You have good stuff? Hello. You can't hide the loot from me. I smell you. Okay, maybe I don't, but I do. Yeah, you liar. Oh, that is my cue to go and get out of here. Okay. And you know what? Uh, it might not be a bad idea to just camp it out on top of the mountain. Probably collect some sand. Oh God. Um, Yeah, maybe it's not a bad idea to just hide in a hole. Yeah. Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes out there. I, I think it should be daytime by now. Okay, please be good. Oh my God, it's the second coming of Christ. Oh Jesus, how, why was that so bright? Oh God, that is so green. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 it's this way, it's this way. I remember, because I had to go right to get to there, right? Or is it this direction? No, no, yeah, it had to have been because I had to take the boat over here. So yeah, no, no, I think it's this direction. Okay, then from here, I think it's this direction. The biggest thing is going to be if I see another shipwreck like right over here. Should have been one like right over here, right? Oh God, uh. Okay, let's just continue going this way. I mean, I'm kind of confident saying it's this way. Oh God, I think I'm lost. <laughs> well, you're new and that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh God. Well, if I'm stranded and lost from home, I might as well be decked out and looking pretty. Well, hello, diamond. And I am totally fine because I know you're lying. I don't even think I saw that one before. Oh no. And the fact that there's sugar cane still here. Oh wait, but we're at the ocean. Maybe, wait, 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 wasn't that to my right when I came onto the land? So wait, wait, maybe, oh, yes, yes, because I remember that. Oh my gosh, yes, we're saved. Oh, we're saved, yes. Also, it's really pretty how I can make like a halo up here by doing that. My land, yes, or land, my raft, my raft, yes. 
Holy, we actually made it back to base. Oh my god. Wait, are those all items? Uh, I don't have the inventory for you. Wait, 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 wait. Please don't go. I love you. Oh, now we can actually craft seven more iron ingots. Everything in here. We'll get organized later. I'm too lazy right now. <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now we get uh, a little bit more wood, which we're going to be needing like probably right about now. And now that I'm actually lucky and I have a lot of iron, we can actually make a bucket. Now we actually have some water and I don't really know what else to do with that information, but at least we now have it. <laughs> With the amount of barrels that we're getting pretty soon, I'm just going to start building a floor out of these. Nice. Okay, sweet. So we have 46 logs. We got you know, one slab right there. Actually, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I lied. Actually, I want to use jungle wood for this, for like all the bridges and stuff. And I think for a mob spawner, I want it to go off to the right. How big is this? Okay, beautiful. So this is centered, and then we just want to bring this a little bit away. Oh, we don't have to go too crazy with the, a distance. What is that? Is that an alien? Okay, now it's been like a little bit since I've uh, built a circle, but I think I still got it. You know, like uh, how hard can it be? You know, uh, what, what can go wrong? I mean, really, I'm just playing it up. I just pull up a website and I just put in how to make a circle on here. And I think this should be a good size. You know, we don't need it to be that massive. You know, we're not compensating for anything. Oh, imagine if I built this with glass. Wait, ooh. I mean, okay, well, I these slabs, okay, they're, they're not a waste because I can actually use them. Can someone shut that bird up? I'm trying to speak. I'm the main character here, not you. <laughs> But the slabs aren't a waste because I could just use it on the mob spawner farm thing. So at least I have that going for me. Oh God, that means we're gonna have to go back to that island if we wanna get more sand. Again, again, I know I could just go down here and then just collect the sand right here and stuff, but um, I don't wanna. Oh my God, it's getting closer. What are you? Go away, no. Trust me, I'm not saying that because you're ugly. Okay, please don't come over here, sea wiener. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. Go away. You know what? You can have that leaf block. I don't care for it. <laughs> oh, we got two barrels. Hello. Oh, I think I actually didn't have you before. Okay. Very lovely. God, I love barrels. Okay, oh, there goes my axe. Okay, well, while this all smelts, we might as well... Okay, we might as well just go fishing. How did I miss that? Aha! Haha, uh -huh, you can't attack me. Haha, uh -huh. I'm fishing for all the items now. I'm smarter than you. Oh, no way. That's my second one. Oh my, no. They're multiplying. There's three of them now. Okay, beautiful. Now, if we go right over here, once it's daytime and I can actually see stuff and it'll look beautiful. Shut up, bird. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa, that is so trippy because you can see like the water on the left and like the right side of the glass. Yeah, sadly to say, uh, I do like this look and I don't think 21 is going to be enough to fill that up. So 21, can you do something for me? Can you go and collect all the sand for me? <laughs> Okay, so let's go and get the boat. We'd probably also be smart to make a shovel. And we need our bed. Alrighty. If I just go in a straight line, like straight there and back, then I won't have to worry about losing my spot again. Okay, beautiful. So we arrived to a weird mountain place, but now we can actually very easily collect sand. And then this will surprise you. I actually spent the rest of the day collecting sand. I know, it's so shocking. Okay, so really nice work. Um, I got six stacks and honestly, I have a strong feeling that like, that's all I'm probably gonna need. Now, before I return home, this is the first time I've ever seen stone. So um, don't mind me. I kind of do want to collect some just in case if there's ever something that I need to build that, you know, isn't out of wood, you know, in case it catches fire or something. I don't know, but uh, okay. So I think I'm good with a stack and a half. Next up. So I saw this while I was uh, mining out all of the sand. There's coal here. I'm just really hoping there's some like over here that's like really easy to touch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm seeing some coal that's in like actual easy spots to get. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so this is huge. And honestly, I might just be using this coal for the logs just to make charcoal. Please don't break until I collect all of it. Pretty please. Wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. Okay, now let's just go back to the boat. I love this shader pack so much for the ocean. This doesn't even look like Minecraft to me. Okay, now we just return home, which should be directly this way. Ish cute. Oh God, that's so sick. I'm so cool. And now it's just gonna be another waiting game. My God, that's gonna take forever. We might wanna make more than just one. So after getting back from our lovely expedition, I had to go and get organized and also chop down the trees because I kind of remembered that, um, yeah, I need wood for the mob farm. So it'd probably be a good idea to actually focus on chopping down the trees when they grow. Once all the organizing was finally done, I got back to fishing. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. So it all went pretty smoothly. I just kept on collecting all the blocks in the ocean whenever they'd pop up. I chopped down the trees as they would grow. Basically, I'm just waiting for the sand to smelt and, you know, cook just so I can have a lot of glass. Also, because I don't know why, I just like relaxing and staring at the ocean. So I'm actually kind of enjoying myself with fishing on here, weirdly enough. And then today was basically a carbon copy of yesterday. Another thing that I'm noticing about the jungle tree, I think I'm not growing it correctly because it only ever grows if I use bone meal on it. And lighter news, I think I've collected enough wood to actually make the mob spawner and the glass is almost done cooking for the next stacks. <laughs> and then after that, I just did more fishing and I got a barrel, which it was just like the same kind of loot. I've noticed that they don't ever really change. And then I opted to go for this shot just because look at that ocean water. I absolutely absolutely love these shaders. This place is my favorite. I'm heavily in love with this map. Okay, so the next stacks are almost completely done, but I've already prepared all these, so I think we're good. Next up, I just need to go and get organized. Then let me just get these again. Man, these things grow really fast. Now, there's one issue that I've uh, kind of realized. I didn't make this platform centered for a chest. So no matter what, it's going to be off centered. And I can't lie, that is truly going to bug me immensely. Oh, that's right. You're waterlogged. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Now comes the part where I uh, cross my fingers and I really hope that I've collected enough iron. Oh, hello. Okay. So now with six more there, and then I have 22 there, I have have a strong feeling this is not enough. Oh, no way. There's enough. Wow. I feel so spoiled. Whoa, you actually grew without me having to give you a uh, bone meal. Huh? That's actually surprising. Okay, with this much wood, we should be good. I honestly don't know because I'm really just guessing. <laughs> Okay, and then before we go and build it, let me just go over here and actually, uh, eh, is there anything actually worth collecting? Imagine if like a netherite block just pop up here, you know, I wouldn't be against that. I think that'd be kind of fair. I think that's everything that we need for the mob farm. I'm just way too lazy to double check the tutorial. Oh, wait, 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 that's heavily important. I remember I, I always make it uh, like this now. Eight stairs. Okay, now we're good. Sorry, I, I swear I'm a professional. Okay, next up, we just have to make this 22 blocks tall. Yeah, and uh, not too shabby. Now, hopefully I don't miss. Ooh, okay, good, phew. And then don't mind me, just time to raise up the poop shoot. And then for anyone ever wondering why I never put any of the corner blocks on whenever I make this uh, farm, it's just because you save so many blocks. Same reason why I make a majority out of the uh, actual mob farm part out of slabs. Ah, beautiful. I now just need to go around to all the other sides and make them also eight blocks wide. Okay, and then now we go back into here, take up all of these. And then we be very careful and we place down the stairs. God, I always have a nightmare of like falling down stairs a little bit. I mean, with really good reason for falling down stairs, but uh, I've also died a couple times from falling off stairs in the past. Yeah, 2014 was very dark days. Oh God, okay, well, the sun is starting to go down, but if I can be fast enough, I can actually put the walls onto this place. And then once again, uh, cutting the corners as I almost fall. Yeah. And there we go, as the sun is setting, completed all of that, beautiful. And then, wow, that looks really cool. And then just so I can get up and down really easy, I think I'm just gonna permanently leave that there until we start building the floor. This time, I might actually just put all the water in next. That might be smart. Oh, I'm dumb. That was supposed to be made out of slabs. Eh. 
Nah, I'm not gonna take it down. Nah, I have a tree farm, which speaking of my word, almost every single one of them has grown, but that was actually like incredibly nice. So uh, we got a ton more wood. I think we're actually good to, you know, completely build this entire thing. First up, let's actually just go through and put in all the water now. Now in hindsight, I should probably just build a uh, infinite water pool up here, but then I can't do this. And who wouldn't love doing this nonstop? This is actually starting to make me sick with how much the image is being like reflected around. Or I guess refracted around. So now I just need to go through. So luckily with all the slabs, at least this way, I actually know how to uh, save them and not waste them. So now once you get around to the edges, you actually don't need to put in anything on that last block row, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But basically what I'm doing right now, and then you just have to go around and fill in the entire floor. My God, I do this so often. <laughs> ah, beautiful. And now, hopefully before it uh, becomes too dark, I can at least finish some of this. And there we go. I'm faster than time itself. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh God, now it's time for the most painful part is, uh, God, going around with all of these. Oh, I am really low on wood. Huh, that kind of sucks. So I spent the beginning of this morning chopping down the trees and collecting some of the items in the ocean. Once I made some more slabs, I then noticed that it didn't leave any water <laughs> at the top of the mob farm to get back up there. So yeah, I just had a water bucket my way up there. Then I also remembered Oh yeah, I didn't place down the trap doors, and that's kind of an important thing to have in here. And then finally, once that was all done, I got to work on the roof, which I very luckily finished with barely any time remaining today, and I had like two stacks left over. But I don't know if this thing works, so uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I really hope it does. I'm kind of tired of these things not working. <laughs> Okay, so surely this is going to work very perfectly fine. Now while that works, let's go around, you know, uh, clean up shop, collect all of this. And then let's just go around and start collecting up all of these before they despawn. Oh, hi. Is it okay? Because every time I see a shark, it never moves. <laughs> uh, I like to, you know, try and be optimistic, but I'm pretty positive that this is not working. But it should actually be an easy fix. I, I, I believe I know what's wrong. So usually, you know, I put on like one block or areas where uh, there's no land. Oh my God, wait, it's working. Really? After I gave that entire spiel? Okay, this is dark. <laughs> I think it's time to make some torches. Okay, let's also go around and light up our platform. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I tried. <laughs> um, it's still really dark in here, buddy. But anyways, okay, it's actually working. That's a tremendous good sign. But what I was gonna say is that um, normally, you know, like there's uh, I'm, I'm used to playing on uh, maps and like mod packs without any land. So now I think I just need to tower up about a hundred blocks. And then if I just AFK up there, jump down, boom, I just kill everything in here. We should actually have like an actual working mob farm. Ideally, I would like to get some soul sand and then I can just make a water elevator going Going up because that would be the fastest but i don't have obsidian and i can't go to the nether but i can beat you up oh, actually i could just make two buckets and we need to go find lava and then i can actually make a portal to the nether without a diamond pick it's just it's gonna take a long time i think i'm down for the adventure why not well i'm not seeing any barrels so yep i'm good okay so now if we go back to the island kind of what i'm hoping for like predicting is um hopefully some lava <laughs> That would be very ideal. Why Why is that really bright? I'm starting to believe that I'm only going to find sand and water. I mean, like, yeah. oh, God. Okay, I was trying to do a cinematic shot. Never mind. Okay, I was, I was trying to be fancy. My, my apologies. And now, since I am on land, it might actually be a lot easier to reach a cave system. Like, out here instead of, you know, in the ocean. <gasps> oh, my gosh, there's stone. It does exist. Oh, more dirt. Yes. Yes, please. Ooh, yes, I'm collecting all of you. This right here is more valuable than diamonds to me. Please, I need a cave that is not underwater. Ah, oh, hey, gorgeous. Ooh, hello, gorgeous again. Okay, so I'm on Y level 26. My assumption is I should be able to find some lava if I just keep on digging in this direction, or I at least find some coal. Like, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Give me a lot, please. Oh my god, there's so much. 
Oh, um, yeah, probably should have brought another uh, pickaxe, okay. And well, at the very least, you know, I got two stacks of dirt, got some copper, more iron, which I actually really needed, you know, so it wasn't a bad trip. Okay, and then just to like not waste a whole lot of time doing this, I think think I'm down to spend like two more days with trying to find lava because you know I don't know I just don't want to waste too much time there might be another way that we could get lucky uh maybe you know some kind of a trade or I'll hopefully get diamonds from a barrel at some point and then you know at the very worst we might also not need to go to the nether anymore because I mean I just got two more stacks of dirt from the land okay fingers crossed we got two picks, we got a dream, and I'll probably get myself like two or three more days. Skirt. I spent the remainder of day 26 mining in a straight line, which I then immediately found gravel and then took that so that now I can actually make more dirt. So the nether is kind of looking more pointless. However, I keep finding underwater caves, which has iron in it. So it's not entirely bad being down here. And then there I was just mining in a line even more. And then I realized, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm playing on 1.19.2. Um, I need to go down like 60 more blocks and then maybe I'll find some lava, which that's what I started to do. And then immediately broke my pick. After a little bit, I got into the deep slate and then more deep slate and more. And then at the end of the day, I reached bedrock. So I'm kind of shocked that I haven't found any sort of cave or lava, water, like anything. So this might be a lot more difficult than I thought. Okay, so we don't have much room to work with on here, but I believe Y level negative 53, we should be able to find something. You know, hopefully some lava. I'll even take some diamonds, you know, I won't say no to any of that. No! Uh, oh, still haven't found anything yet. Surely we will soon. Because <laughs> you see, I never once thought that I would actively be trying to find lava. Usually I hate it and I try to stay away from it like every other player. <laughs> I have a feeling this is probably going to be the last day that I spend trying to find any of this stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed. But at the very least, we're getting a lot of building materials. So this trip isn't, you know, a waste. Okay. And then we might as well head over. You know, I haven't really looked at the night sky before. Oh my gosh. I will never stop saying this. It's just so beautiful. Like I feel like I'm in the new Avatar movie. Okay. Fingers crossed that we find some lava and very soon I need to go back to fishing because I'm getting very low on food. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I just heard something. Wait. Oh, hello? I hear the blub blubs. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Oh, dude, it's a big one. Oh, thank God. Okay, I don't need to spend any more days searching for this, finally. But now I just get to have the super duper fun job of running back and forth. And now, oh, wow. Ooh, please have diamonds, please. Okay. I mean, it's probably fine just to put the portal like right here. So if I do this, nice. Okay, good. Nothing's on fire. Don't have to freak out. Perfect. However, instead of just two buckets, this is kind of a waste. It's just so I don't have to spend three days doing this. I think having at least six buckets will be fine. Uh, I don't want to waste too much iron. And now to just go and uh, get more lava. Hey, I'll be back, mobs. Wow, there's a lot actually going into the mob spawner. Now, I had to work very rapidly just to try to get this all done today because I really don't want to spend any more time on this. So I went down, got some lava. I then went back home and then I started doing the speedrunner tactic where, uh, yeah, you just place down the lava, you place down the water, bada boom, bada bing, there you go. Except I need two more. So I went right back to the cave. <sighs> Took, you know, a couple of minutes to run back to the lava pool, got more lava, went back home. I finally finished the entire portal. I made the flint and steel and look how cool this is. Like, look at that. I love how the purple is just illuminating off of everything. This thing actually looks so like mysterious and magical. It's so awesome. Ah, uh, it's starting to get like really comfy and kind of cute in here. I love this, you know, like I just, I don't want to chop down the trees and it's totally not because I'm lazy. So anyways, so now that we have this beautiful thing, I can't get over that and just how pretty it is. Oh my God, I love it. And oh boy, please be a good spawn, please. Please. Hello, no gaster here, right? Whoa, oh my God, it's so red. <laughs> Everything is just 
<laughs> Red. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, it's a baby. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Phew, we're safe. Whoa. Pretty. Wow. Okay. Well, um, anyways, other than just seeing red like Kratos, um, this isn't looking like a good spawn. I won't lie, but I don't really care to explore too much. My only goal in here, at least for right now, is just get soul sand. Like, well, I'm not really finding any kind of open space. So, I mean, we might as well just start digging down, I guess. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Don't, don't shoot me. Oh my God. No, no, no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I completely forgot. I have no armor. You guys are definitely going to hurt. No, no. Oh, no! Are you guys good? Are you friendly now? <gasps> okay, also, I want to be incredibly fast in here because, my God, is this place hurting my eyes? Oh, my God. God, so much better. I love the shader pack. Trust me, really do. I can't do it. It is way too drastically red for me. Ideally, it'd be really nice to kill these guys, but I'm pretty positive they can kill me in about two hits. Just don't touch me, please. Yep. Oh, thank God. Hi. Yeah, you've noticed me now, huh? You don't want to touch me, right? Ooh. Now, do I be smart and go back home and get some iron armor or at least gold armor? You know what? I I, th I think we do. You know, I, I let's be smart. You know, I, I kind of don't care to die. Oh my God! Dude, I could have sworn I had more. Oh God. Okay. Um. Well, thank you for uh, the iron chest plate. Yep, that'll be good. <laughs> Wow, that, that's that's worth it. Okay, now that we're safer, I still kind of want to go and fight hoglins. So I really, really want to get food. Be friendly, be friendly. Uh, oh my god, I too shot him? Uh, you see, if you just keep playing like a chicken, they don't really hit you. Oh my god, chill, 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 walk away. Yes, yes, nice, yes. No, 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 no. Wait, don't run away though. Like, I, I do need the meat. Dude, how much health do you have? I thought you only had like 40 hit points. There we go. Is he Fortnite dancing? So not bad. We got 15 so far. That's actually huge, especially since we've only had issues with one of them. Come here, my precious. You have something in your body that I need. Mm, don't touch me. Ah! I'm a friendly person, I swear. <laughs> Thank you. Just because no one can stop me, uh, yes, I would love some incredibly easy to gather glowstone. Oh, not bad. We got 13. Really wish that I had some silk touch, but oh well. Another thing I wouldn't mind having is a hundred bajillion hoglins that just want to sit there and look pretty and not do anything to me. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Wrong area. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No. Oh, piggies. Oh, Miss Piggy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch me. Ooh, that was a nice fall. Wait, wait, so if there's gravel there, usually that means that there's soul sand near it. Okay, now why are you two teaming up? That's just not fair. At the very least, I'm starting to, you know, get enough leather to where I can just make some leather armor. An iron farm would do phenomenal right now. Hello. Okay, I mean, gravel would be good, but I mean, we haven't even started any kind of farm, so we're not hurting for dirt, so I'm good. Now, where is some soul sand? <gasps> Hi, hello, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Holy, dude, this thing's bigger than your forehead. Okay, and very lovely. After breaking all of those, we ended up with... <laughs> A beautiful stack in almost a half. Okay, I think we're good on redstone for the remainder of the movie. Unless I were to do 200 days, if you guys want that. Man, I don't think I've ever had this much trouble finding soul sand before. No, 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 no. It's okay, you four-legged freak. You don't need to come up here. Woo! Hi! Oh! Oh! oh stop! <laughs> Yes, yes, right there. Perfect. Don't move at all. Nice. God, I love these hoglins. They're just so kind to me. Nice. Okay. Well, at least we made a profit on food, so that's really good. Because ideally... It, oh, my sword's almost broken. Eh, I got an axe. We'll be fine. I'll, I'll go and axe them a question. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Woo! Okay, that was risky. Yeah, know what? At some point, it's gonna be really wise to just go back home and make food. Yes, okay, nice. Uh, I got one arrow and let's use it. Okay, I missed. Yes, oh, 
Give me the arrow. We're going home. I don't remember where my portal is, but I think it's somewhere over here. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh, oh my God, I'm back home. Oh God, I love this place. Oh my God, I'm never leaving you again. Oh. One thing that we can start though is the water elevator for that thing, which we will be needing more sand. Are you done yet? Oh my God, yes, please heal me. Oh, oh I should also probably make a sword that would be uh, actually useful. And then right here, this should be a good enough spot for the soul sand. I'll barely miss that, I believe. Achoo! Achoo! Then we can start from there. So now I could very easily just walk into this thing. And for the door, now I actually want to build it out of one of the mods that I installed. Ta-da! Oh, look how pretty that looks. Ooh, wow. That totally doesn't look weird whatsoever. <laughs> what? Oh my. Actually here, to make it nicer, maybe we do it there. Ah, much nicer. Okay. Don't worry. I most definitely want to get into building because I selected a lot of really fun building mods. So yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be good to get into. But anyways, while my food cooks, right now I'm on Y level 66. And I think if I get to like 150, we should be good. So I managed to use up all my glass, surprisingly. And I ended up on Y level 117. So now it's another waiting game while I wait for more of my sand to smelt. And then once I jumped down to the bottom, I went to the mob farm and I got one zombie. Ah, I probably just didn't spend long enough up there. And luckily, it's not that ugly, at least like once I finish it. So that's nice. Plus, I don't think this will hold any kind of shadow over the place. So it's not going to be an eyesore like that thing. But anyways, it has been quite some time since I have come out here and uh, done some fishing. So let me go around and just swim and collect everything. Wow, that was good. <laughs> And you know what? I, I love the sound of all the birds, but I really should collect more of the wood. Okay, now, since we're still on a waiting game, I have no iron. And of course, you know, I can go mining for it. But where's the fun in that? As you see, instead, what I can do is start running around and looking for more sunken ships. And then, you know, I, I can get iron and some other stuff from their chest. I also really want some bamboo. What? What is that? Oh my god, don't ever come near me. Now, of course, I don't have a boat, and I've already explored so many of these sunken ships, so it's not a bad idea for me to actually make, you know, a boat just so I can actually go out and explore. And then, hopefully, I can actually get lucky and find a whole lot of sunken ships this way. Oh? Alrighty, buddy, you're the first one up, please. Is there even a ship? Oh, okay. Please have a... Oh my god, you're huge. Yes, you surely have iron in here, right? Okay, or not. Oh, I'll take your feathers. Why not? Oh, oh, wait, that's actually not too bad. I can start a carrot farm, which I don't know what I would use the carrots for, but you know, I, I can make a farm for them. <sighs> not the worst, but you know, eh. I can still turn it into iron, so eh, not, not bad, not bad. Oh man, I will never get tired of looking at the coral reefs during the night. It's just so beautiful. Alrighty, King, I'm hoping that you have a whole lot of iron. Just give me like 40 ingots, you know, something tiny. Or quite literally nothing at all. Okay, that works too. Ooh, I'll take the cold. <gasps> Wait, how did I just, I didn't even realize there was bamboo in here. Hello. So that's not too shabby. And of course, like, you know, if I don't find anything in the next like two days, then we'll just go back and then I'll just ugh, go get iron the boring way. Hello? Any free loot for me to steal? There we go. And there we don't go. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't be another one chest. Starting to lose hope. <gasps> oh, it's a destroyed nether portal. Okay, now your chest. Oh no, please. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, I don't care for your treasure. You know, I, I bet it was going to be doggy poo poo or something. And then I'm guessing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ew. But eh, not the worst. Not bad. That was some cute little loot. And off we go. Where is a boat? Well, there might be something up there. I don't know. We're, we're starting to hit a dry spell. Wait, is that a boat? Oh, that is a boat. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Hi. Oh, oh my God. What are you? Oh, wait, are those beluga whales? Oh, okay. Never mind. You're cute. Never mind. I'm pretty sure belugas are friendly. Another thing that I'm kind of shocked that we've never found yet is a, a pyramid. You couldn't have been literally anything else. I would have taken pants or a helmet, but eh, well, okay. So, uh, nothing there and nothing here. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you actually going to be buried treasure? Nope. Nope. You're not. Okay. You're another map. I don't know why all of the buried treasure maps are glitched. Eh, 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 eh. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, not bad. Oh, we finally got some more iron uh, nuggets, but you know. Ooh. You know what? Here, we might as well, you know, keep it because that might actually be worth it. What is that? Wow. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Well, we found the mainland. Oh, <gasps> finally. Another boat. Oh my God. That took forever to find. And we still really haven't found anything good. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I finally have some pants. Beautiful. Now I have respiration one, protection one, or the big bucks. Oh, finally. Oh, finally. We got some iron. Okay, beautiful. And now this is like one of the largest bodies of land we've uh, seen so far. So maybe... Okay, you know, we're, we might be a little lucky. Wow, this place is huge. Not the worst. The interesting thing is, um, wow, that's definitely a find. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely the weirdest thing I've ever seen dropped on the floor before. It's interesting. I would love to build those sea lanterns. Is there any point to an area like this, like, at all? Because it's been a few days. I miss my raft sweet okay i'll take it but i think this might be my last day exploring and then i think i'll be good to go back heap fray uh sure i don't know what that does this is only encouraging me to make an iron farm sooner Ooh, not too shabby at the very least we're getting a lot of coal so i'm very happy about that and beautiful <gasps> and there's a destroyed nether portal right there beautiful er Oh, that was a nice one. That was pretty nice. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, yo. Oh, this is a perfect area to go in mine. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm deaf. I have to go down there. Okay, sweet. So, first we loot you. Wow. Uh, oh. Oh, hello, beautiful. Okay, and then let's go check out that boat, and then I think we'll be good to go mining, which I honestly can't really do that much because I don't have any space. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, beautiful, eh, kind of beautiful, not really. Definitely an interesting boat, <laughs> won't lie. Uh, and I don't see anything else, so I think it's time to go mining. So at the very least, you know, I do want the coal. Do I want the copper, though? Because I'm not gonna lie, I still really don't know the point of copper <laughs> other than building with. And eh, even though we already have an ingot, I'll just throw you away and just collect you. So I first started out with just getting as much coal and copper that I could. Still, no idea why I want to collect copper. Then, uh, the lower that I made it, the creepier it became. So, you know, I found a zombie, a skeleton, and then I found deep slate, which I didn't think I was low enough for that. The entire time, I was heavily on edge with just how eerie the entire cave system sounded, but I was finally starting to get a lot of iron. And then I finally, after killing the second skeleton, I got my second arrow. And this place is looking very, uh lavish for us you know but the issue is that i'm really running out of space and that became very apparent to me once i found diamonds so uh yeah i went and i collected iron instead <laughs> uh so my issue is you know i really want to collect the diamonds i just don't know what to drop um because i mean being realistic i'm probably not going to do anything with potatoes or carrots i never do and there's not really a point to them i mean i could use the carrots for farming and then i could trade that to villagers potatoes do the same thing uh i think i'd rather drop the potatoes and get the diamond Ooh, surely there's more than just two right and the answer would be no wow that is so beautiful love that look oh and i love you more oh you're scary oh my god oh <gasps> you please don't come here no stop shooting for one second thank you oh <gasps> yes more arrows and just one okay Okay, just very quickly, I just need to get this diamond. I almost just fell into lava. Is there any more? Yes, finally. Yes, even more. Okay, now, uh, let's go left. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's go right. You know, it doesn't seem like there's anything left. Oh my God, there's so many little caves in here. This is gonna take me forever. Now, I'm loving this creepy cave system as much as the next person. Well, oh my god, it just doesn't end. But I think pretty soon we should actually head back. I guess we can collect some gold, why not? Alrighty, I'm pretty uh, happy with everything that we've explored in here. Now, the tricky part... I mean, this is kind of looking familiar. I've... Okay, I lied. Um... Oh my god, no, 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 no. 
I have not explored you at all. I don't care to explore you anymore. Goodbye. Oh, there's so much iron. Nice. Yes, give me. Mm, yum, yum, yum. No, I have 64. Uh, what can I give up? Uh, I have a feeling that just cooks the fish. But I, uh, God, no, because that might actually be really worth it and really nice. Um, I mean, I guess we don't need the Nautilus shell. I'm sure it's really good, but I don't think I've ever crafted anything with the Nautilus shell in my life before. So, oh, this is a completely different area. Wait a second. Holy dude, my heart just dropped. I thought that was the, uh, the deep dark city. No! Okay. Phew. Ooh, iron. Yes. No way. Oh my God. No, 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 no way. Absolutely no way. No, no. Goodbye. No, no touchy. No touchy. No goodbye. Nope. What do you guys have in here? Uh, basically nothing. Not gonna lie. I, wow, really don't care for any of that. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Yes, yes. And then I think I had to take this water elevator up some more. Okay. That's the skeleton shooting at me. Please swim, 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 swim. Wait, no, this is the wrong one. I need that one over there. Oh God. That's such a far fall. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, good. Ooh, just don't mind me, enemies. Well, I see sunlight up there, and that's making me very happy. Yep. Oh, God, we're back at the surface. Oh, man, I completely forgot how much I hate going into caves, especially with no armor. Okay, I know this is going to be really weird, but I know exactly which way I need to go to, be, uh, to get back home, and it's this way. Good, good. Here's the ocean. And I think I just need to go forward like two or three thousand blocks. Okay, good. I remember that portal, I believe. Yeah, 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 because I already took the gold block off of it. So we're still going the right direction. That's good. Yep, yep, there's the village. And then I believe we checked out that boat. Oh, oh! Okay, I don't remember this boat. Hello. That's also a really bad sign. Why was there loot in there? <laughs> I'm still going the right way, right? And like, <laughs> surely, uh... Surely I didn't get lost already. And now the most important thing, did I loot this boat at least? <laughs> or uh, am I gonna be in trouble? Okay, I think the good part is that I very much so remember this boat. It's looking very familiar and it's looking very looted. So yes, yes, I did see this. Okay, so that's actually really good. I don't know how I missed the other boat then. Okay, this is looking very familiar. I'm starting to get very confident. You know, another very weird thing is how I never found any seaweed or kelp. Uh, slight issue. Uh, oh, wait, 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 isn't that it? Wait, 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 I think that's the hill that I always uh, went to to mine all that sand. Wait, is this not? Huh? Oh no, uh, wait, my boat, I see it. I see it right there, yes. Oh my gosh, yes, we made it home basically and now we just go off into the beautiful sunset oh my beautiful home that doesn't look really bizarre and kind of ugly oh nice now we have like a nice little boat yard i kind of want to make an like an actual place for my boats so i've never done that before i think that'd be fun so as soon as i woke up i immediately got to organizing also smelting some more cobblestone because uh i need a blast furnace because i have a lot of ore to get through once i got that all started i also finally made myself Full iron armor. I'm finally not weak anymore. And then since I did get bamboo, I made a little dirt strip on the side of my raft and then I planted the bamboo. Once I got all the chores done, I wanted to try out that new fishing rod. Now since it has deep fry on it, my assumption is that it automatically cooks the fish. And once I caught my first fish, yes. Yeah, see, it actually just cooks them. So it's actually not too bad of an enchantment, but I can only use this fishing rod 64 times unless I want to make an anvil and then repair it. But honestly, I don't really care to. <laughs> And then to start off this day as well, I just did some more chores, got rid of all of the boring stuff out of the way, kept getting organized, got some barrels, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really that exciting happened there. Then once all of the chores were done, I finally went back to that glass tube. I brought it all the way up to Y level like 147. And then I thought, well, hey, let's try AFKing up here. So I thought I would just do some fishing. But then I was too high up because my fishing rod would uh, kind of just like reel itself back in. It just, it wouldn't let me fish. But however, the 30 seconds that I spent up there when i jumped down there's actually some mobs in the mob spawner trap part so at least it works then after that i just went back to fishing picking up all of the blocks that were floating around the platform just to end off the night and also to get more food 
Okay, perfect. Completely organized, but now there's... I, I kind of want to test this out, you know? Uh, luckily, we are getting some mobs that do come down here. And now that it's completely cleared out, uh, hopefully this works, and I'm really hoping that I can actually swim to the top. Uh, I still need to go to the nether and uh, get that soul sand. Oh, God. Okay, phew. Whew. Whoa. I think I can see SpongeBob's house from here. I like how I can make all the chunks in the background, like, move. <laughs> Just from this one block. <laughs> uh, but now we just wait. Okay, so I've been up here for a couple of minutes, but now I come down here. Oh, um, I've somehow have managed to get more jellyfish to spawn in here than I did with mobs spawning here um i'm gonna take a wild guess here i think i built it too high up me being down here is actually getting to spawn them in uh, a lot more than me being up there okay so maybe the tube is actually really useless i honestly don't know however since i do have all iron armor finally and you know I, I won't die we might as well go to the nether and farm up some food and let's just keep on hunting around for some more soul sand <gasps> wait lava down here <gasps> oh 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 my god, it, it exists! It actually exists in this world! There, I, uh, there's soul sand! So first off, lava needs to go. No, no, please, take your time. Oh, oh, pfft. Okay, well, I, I was gonna go the, you know, the difficult route, but hey, if you, if you got some easy ones right over here, don't mind if I do. And even nicer, there's gravel here. Which, I mean, again, I don't think I'm ever gonna have any issues with dirt, but hey, you know, might as well. Since this is so difficult to actually get, let's collect up a little bit of these. Okay, 64 should be enough. I don't think it's even possible for me to make that many water elevators. Like, I don't know what I would use them all for. Oh, okay. That was dumb. Man, who would have guessed that hell is so dangerous? Like, I think it was that way. But what if we go over? Oh, okay. But what if we go over here? Well, I turned on 64 chunks and uh, I'm just going to assume that uh, there's nothing in your home. It's kind of lame. I'm so sorry that you're stuck here. I mean, I don't think I need that much food, but it would be nice to kill a little bit. Like, I really don't want to spend that much more time in the nether because I would like to actually get to work on some stuff back at my base. Oh, cool. There's three of you here. I'm sure this will go well. Uh, it's so dangerous. I'm coming. Thank you. Go away. Okay, that could have gone smoother. I'm lost. I don't know where to go. <gasps> wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. I know where I am. Okay, well, that's mine. Wait, oh, there's my staircase. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's get a little bit more food. Why are you all teaming? <laughs> Oh my god! Why are you all teaming? That's so annoying! Fight each other! Oh my god, no, they're everywhere! They are everywhere! And if I didn't know any better, I would assume that they all hate me. God, I hate bread. It really does not heal. You know what? No, I can't chance it. Nice. Nice. No, thank you. Whew. This is day 48, and I'm still hunting. Not you. I need the hogling. Don't shoot me. 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 Uh, don't run. Oh god, there's so many. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. Oh my god, that stupid vine. Don't touch. Don't touch. Whew. No, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I think... Oh, okay. Well, hello. I think after this one, I'm good in the nether, and then we can actually get to building stuff. Also, I really need to get two of those zombified villagers and a witch, because then I can actually do so much on my raft. And then, you know what? We might as well just get, you know, cuckoo crazy and actually make a smoker. That would most definitely not be a waste. So now, if I do that... Now... Uh... The annoying part is that, um, I don't have any kelp and I don't really have any bone meal, but I do have a bucket. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, okay, first off, I need to actually go and find the water sources that I made. Okay, there's one. Nice. Oh, not nice. Not nice. Not nice. No, 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 no. Not nice. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. You're teasing me. <sighs> What's up, bud? Okay, so we got six of these, so I got seven total. This should make it go a lot faster. So now, what I just have to do while it shakes my screen. I'm, oh, okay, yep, that one was wasted. Okay, I really hate this. And then once I get down to the last water bucket, my god, that is so loud. Now, I just have to water bucket my way all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah, just, just give me, like, 20 minutes, okay? I'll, I'll get out of here in no time at all. Oh, this is so much faster. Oh, man, why did none of you leave a comment telling me to do it like this? Ah, come on, guys, we need to do better. No, I was so close. 
So right in the morning, I went and I looked at the mob farm and wow, just me doing that water elevator just for a little bit, this thing was actually packed. So I don't exactly plan to go to the very top of this anymore. I'm probably going to shave off a little bit of the glass. And then once saying hi to all of them, I was going to get started on the water elevator of which once I finished putting down all the buckets, if you just swim down, you can actually get extra oxygen so uh, you don't drown. And then the fun happened once I jumped back down to my base. You see, I went and I looked at the mob spawner again and there's a witch there this time. And from all of my past experiences, I do not want to lose her. <laughs> <laughs> so since I have a lot of iron, I went back to all of my barrels and I made an anvil. I then got a name tag and I named it Starbucks Barista because I think it's just really fitting for the witch. Once I got that done, I went back to the mob spawner. I put down some dirt just to block it off so nothing else can, you know, fall down and get out. I then broke her out. And um, yeah, that, that was a lot of fun trying to get her into the boat. I don't know why it was so difficult. I then moved her into the back corner because I'll just deal with her later. I just don't want potions thrown at me. I opened up the mob spawner again so everything actually works. Then once that was all done and handled, I got back to making the water elevator. Surprisingly, not taking too long on doing this, but I don't really want to spend any more time on making the water elevator, so I'll probably go up a few more water blocks, but I don't think I need to go to the very top. Most likely going to stop around Y level 110. Now, instead of jumping back into the water elevator and finishing that off, I kind of want to get rid of that witch. Uh, to surprise you all, it's actually really annoying having her there. So I got some wooden slabs and now I'm making a giant circle, a 35 by 35 circle. This area will be for the future villagers and the witch who I will soon just put her off into the ocean or something. I don't know. But I quickly made the circle and uh, I hate to say it, I still want to use glass because I feel like that's such an amazing ground item to make in this world. Because why would I want to hide the ocean for the villagers? You know, I care about them. I want them to have a nice home. The only issue, um, yeah, I have like a stack and a half of glass. So yeah, I got like two or three lines done of the circle and uh, yep, we're going to be needing some glass now. And then just to finish off the night, I just did a little bit of fishing because I was waiting for the remaining like 20 pieces of glass that I had to smelt. And then as soon as I woke up, I immediately just set off into my boat. You see, I have a special tactic for this. It's called a torch. So this way, you know, I only have iron tools, but this is a lot faster to actually get sand like this. It's a lot cheaper, blah, blah, blah. I'm just trying to sound smart. <laughs> and overall, I think if I get around 18 stacks of glass, I should be good at least for a little bit. I'm completely guessing on how much I need for the circle, but I would assume that this is a good start. So I gathered a lot of sand yesterday, but I just stayed just to gather nine more. So now I have 18 stacks of sand. The sun was setting, but I quickly rushed over to my boat, got ready, and then hauled it right back home. Upon arriving home, I made three more furnaces. So now now I can hopefully go through all these stacks really fast. <laughs> Okay, so now while all of these cook, which, oh god, that, okay, yeah, this is gonna take several days to go through all of it, and then uh, we might as well go place all of this down. I think it's safe to say that I've definitely collected enough sand for all of that, but seeing how I have so much sand to go through and actually uh, cook, um, I also don't really have that much coal anymore, so it might be really smart to start working on this. <laughs> And then to make it super fancy, I think this would look really cool for a border around the entire circle. Huh? Place 100 dirt. That's an achievement? What? And then once that's entirely done, go around with all of our bamboo, which this totally will not be annoying to collect as a mass majority of it will fall into the water. Please grow. I need more. Need so much. I think this will look cool. I, I think this will be kind of cute, especially since we can find add in green oh wait oh yo i can collect some of the leaves and then i put it around here so i can at least capture some of the bamboo Ooh, that might look really nice ah i love the speed of this so nice Okay, and then you know what? I really would like to have some room again. Yeah, goodbye to all of you. Yeah, doing this, I, I should really make a farm area next. <laughs> and then next up, just for a nice little area to actually collect all the bamboo, uh, maybe like here would be a good spot. And then boom, that'll probably fill up in two days as this has been growing for like 10 minutes. So that's nice. How Oh God, wait. 
Oh, phew. Whoa. Okay, so we're in luck. Those are all done. Uh, <laughs> Cole's getting a little worrisome. Ooh, might not be a bad idea to start making some charcoal. Okay, before I go through and I put down more of the glass, now we're going to go around with our beautiful oak leaves. Put them here instead of in the water. And just like that. Okay, so that's done. Oh, I love that. We can actually probably go through, get rid of the torches and put down glowstone even, but I, I kind of like the look with torches. Cause I don't know about you, but now I'm starting to feel Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that look a lot. So I went through all the furnaces and I gathered all the glass and I immediately got to making the floor, which I also immediately got jump scared because apparently there was a jellyfish waiting for me right there. In case you're wondering, yes, I still hate them and they're very painful. After that, it was kind of a slow day because I had to keep on waiting for the sand to actually smelt, which we're almost done with all of them. And very luckily, I I think I barely gathered enough for this entire area. I might have four or five stacks left over. So, hey, I'm happy that I was able to guess it correctly. No, 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 I haven't forgot about you. Oh, wait, dude, imagine if this was like a villager zombie. Are you? Ah, oh, duh, doesn't matter anymore. I guess I'm not gonna be able to ever tell. So uh, anyways, okay, so with the remaining glass from all of this, this should actually be enough to very hopefully finish this ground. Okay, I lied. That finished about two rows. Okay, so anyways, I'm kind of loving the idea of having like these giant, kind of like a pod area in a sense, even though that makes no sense whatsoever. But I need to make a different place for the tree farm. I really don't like having it over here anymore. And I'm also going to be needing to like make charcoal now because I'm uh, kind of out of coal. Ooh, unless there's some in this barrel maybe. Okay, cool. Yep, nope, that was useless. Now, as I was saying, for a tree farm, I kind of want to continue at this direction now and then i think i also want to build a dock over there for my boats because you know i think it'd be kind of fun okay so we go to the center we break all of this bamboo we then sadly clear out the leaves that we just placed Okay, and this might be stupid to do this now because I still need to finish that floor. But now we go three right there. I need slabs. And then we go out five blocks. And nice, we had enough glass for that. Now, do I want to build a circle? <laughs> Or do I want to build it a square? Ah, uh, I think we have to continue the circle. And honestly, this is going to suck. But I think I want to make it this size as well. I won't lie. I actually don't hate building circles. <laughs> For whatever reason, they're not that difficult in this game. Halfway done. Can I finish it tonight? And done. Wow. Okay. Well, barely finished that into the night. But in lighter news, there is quite literally no way I don't have enough glass to complete this. Okay, perfect. So this one is completely done done you know what here let, let's let's go have fun because especially that if that's a villager zombie uh, i kind of don't want the zombies near this wonderful thing love you how did you already gave me weakness wow okay i mean yeah, yeah, yeah you have the right idea trust me like you're not even sitting that's weird you have the right idea but um we, we need to wait until the zombie villagers okay so now just to be safe i'm gonna leave you like right over there yeah goodbye don't hit me stop it okay with butthead mcgee over there so so now I really, really want to make it to where I don't have anything drop into the water anymore. So I think if we just go in by three blocks on every single side, we should be good. Which, don't get me wrong, this is still going to take a lot of glass. But doing it like this, it's actually going to save us probably several hundred, maybe like 800 pieces of glass. I'm totally just guessing here and throwing out random numbers. And we still get the gorgeous just ocean view you are really cool no we were so close we're like 75 percent done yeah oh, okay oh nice nice okay yeah so i have a uh, 17 glass so let me show you a very fun thing that we can do until we make that tree farm first off we just go right into here suck up all of this lava like i'm a vacuum oh god i oh yeah, yeah, yeah baby yeah, yeah come here yeah there you go yeah yeah, you like that? I like that. Anyways, 
Oh my god! Oh no, I have a friend on the other side. Ow, ow. Hi, you little son of a- Wait, what? Oh, hi, okay. Uh, I still don't like you. Okay, anyways, now we just load up the lava buckets. Boom, now we're good for 100 blocks, which I really should have done that instead of all the coal. Um, oh no. It's one of them people. Oh no. <laughs> hi, buddy. Don't blow up. Do not, do not, do not. Okay. Now, what's weird is how it'll spawn on my platform over here, but not my mob spawner. Alrighty, there we go. Should be all protected. And then what I'm thinking... So, okay, this can look really ugly. Okay, first up, we finish the floor. That's the most important part. And then we'll go for cosmetics. So now... Uh, huh... Okay, so here's the center, and then what we can now do is go around, and with glowstone, we will map out where the trees will go, so that this way, this platform is going to be incredibly bright, and we'll uh, very easily be able to tell where the trees go. And then we do, like, glass, glass, and then, you know, go, like, boom, boom, and then we just continue this pattern all the way around, and then by making it four blocks wide, that should give enough room for like all the trees to grow up and not be too compact uh and then maybe we just cut it close over here my god i stopped that at the perfect time okay as long as we don't look too hard you won't notice this it's just i kind of want to have a tree here instead of wasting the space and then over here is going to be another spot just don't look closely at it and uh, you, you won't see any mess ups uh from the pattern Ooh, nice. And the biggest part about using all this glowstone as well is just because uh, I know mobs will really like to spawn on these because everything else I'm using except for the slabs is spawn proof. Yeah, I learned that the hard way from a uh, one block sky block, which if you haven't seen the 50 hours of that, you should definitely go check out that movie. I think you'll enjoy it a ton. So I started off today with going over to the unfinished tree platform and I was going to finish putting down every single tree spot, but luckily enough for me, I ran out out of glowstone. So then once that was all done, I went around with the remaining amount of glass that I had, and I also ran out of that. So lucky enough for me, I'm gonna have to go and collect more. Woo! After that, though, I went and I chopped down all of the trees from my spawn platform. So it's finally opened up. I then went back to the tree platform, placed down all of the trees. I also made a composter and a chest for the area, because why not? And then just to end off today, I went and I got rid of that jungle tree. So now my entire platform is opened up. I then placed it at the center of the platform that the witch is at just to mess with her and i just really want to make her think that she can hurt me i don't need that much glowstone so i think it's actually better just to go and handle that first and go into the nether which i'm hoping that i left some near my portal <gasps> yes Oh, cool. And of course, you have to be in lava. Okay, we need to fix that first. Oh, okay. And then block you off. Yes, good, good. Okay, and then at the end of collecting all of that. Okay, not bad. I got 17. So that should be good. Oh my god. Oh, ah, beautiful. Okay, so we still have some daylight. Let's go over here and finish up this. Is that a book and quill? Am I going crazy? No, 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 no. Oh, nope, that is definitely not a book and quill. Okay, not touching the water ever again. Okay, perfect. So we're completely done with all the glowstone. And of course I can chop down those trees, but uh, I kind of don't want anything to fall into the water for, you know, no particular reason. Okay, now let's go take our boats and hopefully we can go and get a lot of sand within like one day. Get, get, move, get out of my, wait, no, move. Okay, now the only thing is that I kind of really don't want to use this spot anymore because it's not really easy to get any of hurry before it gets too late so i mean i most definitely was not wrong i kind of should have made more torches before coming here because i think it slowed me down just a little bit however by the end of today i ended up with 10 stacks of sand so it wasn't the worst probably could have done more but oh well it's so beautiful barely did any damage and this should be good enough for a while i need to just stop saying that every time i do i always end up needing to go and get more. Where? 
Oh, there you are. I was like, where'd my boat go? Okay, so we can at least just load up all the furnaces and, you know, get them prepared. But let's go take all the lava buckets. Or I guess in this case, the buckets. And we just need to go get lava. And then we just load up all of you. We got beautiful. And now we have two extra for the future. I honestly don't know if I care to swim around and pick up all of the items. Okay, so now the one thing that I really want to uh, build as well, just because I think it would be fun, is a dock. First, oh God, we need a lot more slabs. And firstly, I now need to figure out how wide is this? Okay, so we're gonna make it go forward by five. So then if I come over here, God, I hate counting. Okay, so that one ends at 54. This one is at five. So we do 49. No, 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 we need it to be 44. Four. No, 45. Okay, so doing some calculations. I know that also scared me. Uh, and uh, planning this out. So I believe if I make the rectangle 18 by 45, the dock should then match up to the end of that. And everything should actually be okay. Because I mean, I I'm just trying to fix me uh, making this a square instead of a circle. Yeah, that kind of created uh, like a little bit of an issue. Uh, the center of this platform is these two. So maybe glass. Okay, I think, I think I perfected it. So just for like an easier viewing time on here, I decided to do a time lapse of this because for whatever reason, making an oval is very difficult for me. <laughs> However, I finally finished it and I was one block off, but I'll take it, you know? I kind of guessed on everything, but I feel like this was way more accurate than if I were to guesstimate like I always do. After that, I got some of the glass that was all done and I finished up the little bridges leading to the new dock area. However, I'm not going to touch this area just yet because I still need to plan out how I want to put all the boats in there. However, since I do have glass and I really don't want to continue making new projects in here without finishing the previous one, I try to finish up as much of the tree farming glass area that I could. However, night came really fast. But I finished placing down all of the glass today. Finally, this platform is done. Once I was all finished, I went around and finally chopped down all of the trees, which my God, do I gain a lot of wood out of this, which I think is going to be very useful for the dock because as much as I love making glass, I'm kind of sick and tired of this. So over at the dock, since I only have two boats and I really don't think I'm ever gonna need any more than those or really just one, I went to the very tip of the dock and I cut out a two block wide canal for both boats, bringing it back enough just to match up with the bridge that leads over to the tree farm place. I, I really hope that makes sense. And now I think I have a very fun idea for the dock to make it look really nice. Now for the design that I have in mind, I build in the three prong areas, if that makes any sense, with glass, just so I can still see the beautiful ocean when I hop out of my boat. After that, I have a lot of logs, so might as well use them. I kind of filled in the border of the, uh, the walking area at the dock with logs. I made sure it was all pretty, super nice, and then I, I caved in. I got weak. I'm going to use glass. And of course, this is going to take a lot, which I also noticed that my furnaces ran out of lava. So I didn't finish cooking all of the sand. I used up all the glass that I had. And then after that, it was just a waiting game again. So I went over to my tree farm, chopped down the trees, got a little bit more glass out of the furnace. And I'm getting really scared because I think I have to go back to the island and collect even more sand. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's been a while. Okay, first off, let's go through, get organized. My God, I had so much wood on me. Oh, and finally now, go over here to our beautiful dock. Okay, good. I was like, I can't put down the boat. And now we can actually put down our boats. Wow, beautiful. I'm really curious how all of you are uh, feeling about this dock. I kind of like it. It's like kind of futuristic, not really to me. I don't really know, but it looks cool, I think. Next up, luckily I have some sand uh, smelting right now. However, we honestly might as well just go get lava because we're gonna need it. I should really build a staircase down here. It's too bad I'm lazy. Okay, and then we'll just leave them all inside of the furnaces until they turn on. Cool, now that that's all good, I should really make another shovel. Nah, nah, I'll be fine. We'll just use the torches. Okay, that's definitely like a cool view. It's like I'm like shooting out of the uh, the spork back there. We're off to see the wizard, the 
wonderful wizard of Gimme More Sand. I'm hoping to God this is my last time. I'm sick of coming here. So I immediately got to work and wow, would you look at that? Having more than two torches actually makes us go by a lot faster. Only being here for roughly three or four minutes and I ended up with five and a half stacks. Now, do I want to go home now? Or do I want to keep on collecting some more sand? Because let's be honest, I'm going to use it. Ah, much better. So now we have 10. Ooh, that nice clean turn back and into the spot. Ah, beautiful. I'm loving the dock already. Now, perfect. So we have some glass waiting for us. Now we just go through. Please let me finish like a good majority of this. I'm so tired of working with glass. Okay, nice. I think like 32 more and we should finally be done with all of that i still need to finish you which i'm just curious if i camp at the top of this water elevator like whichever point i made it to you know if i just camp up here for like a little bit i'm kind of curious how many of the mobs will actually be in there because i'm hoping that this is the correct height for it okay and then very quickly before it turns night time yeah and cool there's nothing there awesome i wonder if it's because i always swim to the very top of that just despawns the things in here or are there too many of them oh <gasps> Yes, okay, sweet. Doc is completely done. I won't lie, I I'm not a fan of how um, barren everything looks. Now, don't worry, I I'm not gonna forget that. We're definitely going to finish it because I need my villagers. Is that a villager? I mean, it probably was one in the past. So I still have some leaves left over. I could have sworn I had more somewhere else. Again, this is gonna make getting back onto my platform very annoying if I ever jump off of it, but it's just, it makes it look so pretty. Then we do this, because I really don't want to waste any of my leaves. Oh, I really miss having Silk Touch so much. <laughs> and perfect. So now the tree area is completely done. And it's, it's always just such, like, it's such a little detail, but it just adds so much. So how, I think I know how I want to do the dock. And I think leaving it like this, isn't the worst idea i mean i can't put any other blocks around here or else and you know i can't get the boats in but now i uh i need more leaves if i leave a leaf block on top can i still oh i can nice okay perfect the only issue i don't get any uh saplings but that's also not going to be an issue whatsoever it's naked i was actually really fast okay i was expecting to do that for a little bit longer Okay, but anyways, now we have enough leave, leave, leaves, leaves. Oh God, blocks, not grass, okay. So there we go, looking beautiful. Please let me finish this before it turns into nighttime. And there we go. Now, if we come over here, see, it, it just looks so much more complete. It's just so nice. I love leaves, they just complete everything. <laughs> also, I feel like we should go around and trim all of our bamboo, which this is going to destroy my sword. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. No, 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 no. Okay, beautiful. Wow, that is really laggy. We can be friends. I literally saved you. Huh? Oh my god, dude, I totally forgot that I had this mod. Wait, you look cool? I mean, I don't I don't hate it. I actually kind of like that more. Wait, hold up. There's an oak hedge? Oh my god, dude, I need to actually look through the mods that I installed. <laughs> uh, sure. Let's go around and uh, swap out all of these. Why not? Oh, but you can't walk through them. Okay. Okay, I hate you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like this a lot more than regular torches because I also feel like it just works better with the land. Why am I missing a torch? Oh, uh, you're friendly, right? <laughs> okay, I think I dropped a torch down here. Please just, just let me be, please. You know what? I don't I don't care. I don't care. Nope, don't care. Now, at least now I'm starting up a good uh, stick trade, but I need to get the rest of the bamboo. No, is it all despawning? No, I was too slow. Is there any love? No. Dang it. Okay, my fault. But well, that's really cool to now learn uh, that I did add in mods to where I can actually use bamboo for building. Okay, I know this isn't important like whatsoever and I should really just get to building my mob spawner. But trust me, this is very important, okay? This will make the place look even more beautiful. Wait, you give off light, right? Wait, am I making a mistake? Oh no. Okay, now our cosmetics are completely done. I still have no idea if these actually light up anything. Can I put you on a wall? Wow, that is beautiful. So gorgeous. Okay, well, definitely not swapping out those. Anyways, uh, now thinking about it, I don't know if 
I should have the floor be like this or if I should actually like waterlog the area up here because uh oh my god it's another witch oh no 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 stop healing please please stop no but anyways if I get a zombified villager and they come down here I kind of don't want them to be at half a heart you know like it's just a thought but it's probably not good speaking of not good I need to make some signs okay so now if we go up here here so now this is going to be annoying i really hope this doesn't ruin anything down there okay why does it take so long to break glass oh my god am i breaking obsidian whoa i'm able to swim down whoa that's weird how was i able to do that now, do i just need to break this one maybe okay we're just gonna build this out just a little bit this is still very weird to me okay i guess i didn't need the signs very interesting okay so now if i just wait up here just for a little bit got to do even though the sun is going down i mean i guess just for looks here we'll just place those there i really don't need signs Woo! wow okay i got one skeleton Woo! oh two skeletons yay wow oh man that's so good okay so am i just better off waiting down here for them to spawn in oh wait what if i wait on top no 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 because if i wait on top of the ceiling or the roof and i don't think they'll spawn in because i'll be too close um hmm I mean, another thing that we can try out because this is the only area that's not covered in glass, so things can actually spawn, is that I just remove all the torches and bamboo torches, and then we wait until nighttime, and then maybe zombified villagers will spawn in. I'm starting to grasp at straws here because I just I don't want to wait. Okay, let's try this one more time up here at the platform. Because, I mean, this should make them spawn in. I wonder if I can fish from up here. Oh, look at how pretty our raft area is becoming. Like, oh, that's so nice. Please, please let there be a lot of mobs at the mob spawner, please. And <gasps> wait, that kind of looked like there's some. Okay. Okay. Well, it didn't have anything that I needed, but it actually had mobs here. So, uh, I guess it's just time to wait here for a little bit. Okay, so with the sun setting, please, I am so nervous. Please work. Okay, okay. Uh, sadly, still nothing that I need. Oh, well, I mean, another thing that I could do is maybe build a platform up there and make it really big and then that way they'll spawn up there and then maybe a lot of fish won't spawn in because i think the the fish are also a huge problem because they definitely take up a lot of the mob count i'm happy it's working but uh can i get something else so i mean one thing that we can do because no matter what we have to wait until the uh zombified villagers spawn in we can actually just go and start making at least like a hut for them because I do need something with a roof on it. So then, the, okay, is it only creepers in there? Because as I was saying, I do need to make a roof for them. I just... Eh, I don't want that witch to hit me while I'm building. <laughs> They're just waiting for me. Oh my. What did I do to this world? Why do they hate? Look at that. Why do they hate me? Uh, I might be stuck up here for a little bit. I kind of don't want to go down there and meet him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, man, we can be smart. We'll take the water elevator down. <laughs> it's either all creepers, all skeletons. Can it just be all zombified villagers now? Okay, anyways. So we can actually have fun because I have installed a lot of mods. So, so let's try this out. So first off, very luckily for me i have a lot of sticks okay so that should be enough windows i'm ooh, i kind of don't want to chance it and see if i can break these and actually get it back i'm going to assume no and here's one of like the coolest parts that i found from one of the mods from like a macaw like roofs and like everything else so i can make a very fancy roof and i don't know how i want to build this building okay wait, so if i go like boom and then i go bop boom oh okay let's play with that first and then the next one that i want to try out is this okay throw a potion okay and then we go in okay don't 
Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so sadly, our jungle tree has to go, which, oh cool, it didn't even drop a sapling, so that's awesome. Okay, just so I can actually build the house in an equal manner. So here's the center, and um, I don't think we need to build it that massive for them. I wanna build it big enough to where I can actually have like fun with the design and make it like very detailed. Okay, so maybe somewhere around this side should be good. I just don't know how I wanna build this. <laughs> like at all over here is for something that i have no idea uh we can have the front door here it's heavily confusing and it probably doesn't make any sense to any of you watching but oh well so i would actually like to use any of these modded doors because then it would look really pretty but villagers suck and they know how to open doors but then we could just have fun and make some oak glass trap doors oh man okay i think i need to have about or okay wait 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 we need two more <gasps> villager okay i hate you too okay beautiful call me crazy i might actually be able to implement this into the uh the build as well instead of just the ceiling or the roof oh no i totally forgot no i totally forgot i have bridges in here like i have a bridge mod oh man or i i have a playpen okay interesting like what if i want the bridge to be two blocks wide man i actually kind of want to go and redo my bridges oh no there's so many options and things to do now there's so much building ah it's gonna pain me ah all of that glass okay so okay and then now we just cry a little bit oh um, Man, all of that work for nothing. Uh, I miss silk touch. Now we want a big bridge. So I think we go four and then how do I do that? Okay, not like that. No, 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 I need you. Why does that not look right? <laughs> Okay, so far I have a staircase that leads to nothing and a playpen up here. So that's not correct. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So maybe these stairs have to go into slabs. Aha. Uh -huh. So if I break that, I mean, that's not bad. Like, do I have to have it like this? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something wrong or maybe bridges are only supposed to be one block wide for whatever very bizarre reason. So maybe we just have them go like this. And I mean, we could have glass in the center, but then there's no point of having the bridges on the side. <laughs> oh no. Maybe we build another bridge because before I go crazy and I make a lot more, how do you look? Okay, they don't grab onto each other. So I mean, I could just, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this is so ugly and bad. Oh, I thought this was gonna go so differently. So the next thing that I can try out, because you know, God, that bamboo bridge looks really beautiful. We could try out bamboo trap door. Oh my God, wait, that, that might actually work. And then we can add torches like, and there. So, God, it's not bad and I don't hate it per se. Uh, okay, wait, wait, but I do hate this. Okay, much nicer. It's not too ugly now. Leave a comment down below on what do you feel about the first bridge. I just wasn't, ha you know, expecting to have to build it like this because I was expecting something completely different. I, I think we changed all the bridges because I, I think this will make it look a little bit cooler. It'll add some height to some areas. So why not? Just got to break everything and try not to cry. SZA would be proud. This is definitely a big boy. You really don't have to be here. Like, I, I really don't need to see. I, that is totally okay, homie. That, no, that, that is all good. Nope, 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 no. I still don't know why I have to build it like that. Oh, this is gonna look so stupid. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, please don't judge me too much. Oh, dang it. Oh no, I have to go the long way. Don't touch me, please. No, nothing. Try and kill me, please. Okay, so now it's at least lit up and pretty. Wow, that is the most pointless bridge I've ever built in my life. Okay, cool. Let's not look at it too long, okay? I don't need that much judgment. Okay, I think this is the last bridge that we built. <laughs> okay, but I don't want to spend that much more time on this. So we're just going to very quickly build this. Wow, just so gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, now with the... Uh, 
not wasting any more time. So I don't know if I like or hate building with the bamboo trap doors with using it against uh, the support beams, but I think I like it more than leaves just because it doesn't take up as much space. And these are a little bit more vibrant. I don't know why, but I just remembered I never stripped this and I feel like it would actually look better if I stripped the logs. Definitely like that more because then this doesn't stand out since it was so dark. So now that it's a lot brighter, it kind of blends in with everything else. So now you mainly just notice all the leaves around it and the glass in the center, which is kind of what I wanted. Or we'll just build up all of the pillars like normal. Okay, so now that these are all done, because originally I kind of wanted to build this like a regular tiki hut looking thing, but I, I don't know. I want to want to try something different. Oh, Ooh, I think we can build something pretty with that. So, oh, I kind of like that. Wait, that's actually really fun. Ooh, and then I guess we just make it boring and we could just put an oak log right there. We can strip it. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Let me cook, let me cook. Huh, huh, maybe, kind of. I honestly don't know. Oh God, who let me cook? I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I'm just randomly placing down stuff, hoping that it works. And I honestly can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, wait, there's barrels. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Like, I kind of like the look of this. It's just my only issue is that um villagers are gonna want to become fishermen okay wait that actually looks a little bit better like i don't hate this i just uh, i don't like how plain the bottom parts are but i can't put barrels down there i mean we do have cobblestone okay first i think we need to make a stone cutter and then i think the chiseled stone bricks are going to be our play so now if i bring you over here do you look better okay i'm kind of liking it i'm kind of wanting to leave it as a one story i'm not gonna lie i, I really don't feel like building a two story Alrighty, i'm hoping i don't hate this i really don't want to break it okay i'm not hating it so let's bring the glass all the way around. Okay, beautiful. Ah, oh, finally, we're starting to actually make some progress on this. <laughs> Now, the next issue is that I don't want to copy this front design for every single wall. I really don't think that would look good in the long run. So maybe in every single corner, we just have this. Oh yeah, do you guys like it if I tell you like how I'm building everything and my thought process behind all of it? Or do you guys just want me to like build everything and then just show you at the end and kind of skip everything? And I do want to use more of the barrels. It is, ah, God, I know I'm going to regret that and I'm going to hate that immensely, but I do think that is the right play. Okay, so luckily now though, we can actually start using the oak window so if we just continue it all the way around like this maybe i definitely want to have a lot of uh openings so you can actually see the sky you can see the sun the bamboo just feel like this oh god please please tell me i get it back okay oh, phew okay really nice okay i really like these windows but yes but this way i feel like it's just very tropical and very nice i just really want to try out something new i'm kind of like really bored of building like the traditional way in Minecraft. So maybe I continue using some of the barrels. So it does make a really nice uh, real like beam looking thing. And then I think I do like this the most. So now we just go around with our oak logs. Can I strip the window? No, okay. I don't know, I was just really curious. Okay, then we break this section where everything meets up and then boom. Tell me, do I do I like that or do I hate that? Uh, I don't I don't know. Uh, just leave a comment and then, you know, I'll, I'll be able to know if I should uh, never do that again or if if I should always do this. <laughs> okay, well, every part of these pillars are done. Next up, we need to change this. I am not happy with how it looks down there. So maybe for that section, we might be able to use dead coral. Now, this part's gonna be important because I don't know which one would look best. Almost thinking this. Yeah, after looking around for like a couple of seconds, I think pink is the move. Like, I actually don't mind this look. Okay, oopsies, I only needed 10. Sorry, Coral, didn't mean to kill uh, too many of you. Sorry, Mr. Beast. Uh, if anything, here you go. I'll, I'll go replant it. So it's basically like I didn't do anything bad. There you go. You, you can come back to life now. Okay, but however, I think I placed these in the wrong order. Does that look better? I don't know. I, th I think it's better. I'm not going to lie. I, I think I like this more. Now, since we did make a lot of stone, another thing that we can do, we could put a sign. But I don't know if a sign would look good here. Oh, we could put a sign across here. And we put buttons there. That might look good. Oh, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so we go 
button and then we'll just do a button there for now then we get the signs i think i like that i mean we can also or i think we could do some other stuff down here i need to get a different color other than gray at the bottom yeah definitely a different color i need to start working with green i just don't know how i feel about this because so i'm liking this but I think I need darker signs. So I do have spruce saplings and I do have bone meal. I kind of like that because then it matches them with the barrel. Like, I don't think it's that bad. Especially right here, I like this. And I made too many. Oh, dang it. Okay. Unless, wait, wait. Okay, I'll take that. I made one too many. <laughs> Wasn't me. Now, just have to do it on all of the inside. Now, there's one thing I want to try out because I also saw this. There's leaf hedges, even though it says oak, but you know, there, there's leaf ones. Now, can I break you? Oh, I can. Oh, I like you. Okay. And then what if I put, see, oh God, I like it and I hate it because I like this color down here so much. I like this uh, shade of green a lot more than this shade of green, even though you probably can barely tell the difference, but this is more vibrant. I just don't like it how it covers up this. Okay, then now that we have extras as well. Actually, okay, wait, maybe we also put it in the corners. What if I also put you up here? Is it just more green? Like, I need to break up the colors a little bit. So then let's go around here. And now, since we're completely done on the outside, we have some extra left over and I don't want to waste it. Then we can come into here as well, since this isn't on the ground and it won't, like, come in the way of beds or any of their blocks that I use for them. We then put it on the ceiling. Oh, no way. I had the absolute perfect amount. Yeah. Yes, I love it when that happens. I I don't think I hate that. To tie this all together, the block that needs to go here has to be green. Because I think I need something to match with uh, these. And I feel like that would be the best choice. I'm kind of tempted for this, even though you'll still be able to see inside. But it does add depth, which, you know, I never shut up about. And it covers the uh, the center right here where the, uh, the window is. So there's going to be no air pockets going inside. So it doesn't look bad. I don't hate this but I think I want to use a different leaf block, one that doesn't have as many uh, holes in it. Did I just accidentally figure out something? And then maybe it's kind of cool or, okay, so this will be an expensive test. We take a leaf block and, you know, boom. I don't hate this. I really don't think I hate this. Uh, let's double check a moss block. I almost feel like it's identical to the leaf block, but it is pretty, don't get me wrong. But I think the oak leaf is actually superior to it in this case. Oh, <gasps> Wait, and then what if I go like super bonker crazy, you know, and I put, I waterlog it. You can almost not even see that whatsoever, but I kind of like that. You know, it, it's going to be something that only we know about, but anyone else who were to like ever see this would probably never be able to guess. It would probably look better if I didn't have shaders on, because then you can really see it. But I'm never going to play this map without my shaders on. It, it's just, it's too beautiful. Hey, plus then at the very least, if I don't get any villagers at all, hey, I have a really nice house I can live in now. Okay, now. Now, oh dear God, I just have to go back and forth a tremendous amount of time and fill up all of these with water. And now I just have to go around with bamboo. <laughs> I'm also curious if I just didn't use any leaves and I only used water, I wonder how that would have looked. Cause I don't think I've ever seen a wall for a house made out of water. Okay, now all of the bamboo trap doors are down. So in that case, I feel like we can add something to this. I think that that needs to kind of blend in the depth between this and this. Also, we really need to light this thing up, which of course we're going to use the bamboo tiki torch because like, ah, oh, it just, it looks so good. Eh, it kind of looks good. I actually don't hate it, but I don't love it, but I like it. I feel like it fits the trend or not the trend, but the theme. Okay. So there's actually one thing that I want to try out. You can make rain gutters. I don't know why, but that's so fascinating to me. <laughs> so then you have to take these and then you put three in a line and then boom, you get one actual rain gutter. So if it rains, can I actually actually make like the rain go into this and then like funnel it into like a cauldron because i don't know how this is supposed to work but it looks so cool oh <gasps> oh Ooh. I might be using my entire iron collection. And I love this little like wooden holder thingy. I don't know. Oh, okay. So it does snap in. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. I see you. I see you, queen. Um, problem. I only have 20 left, uh, but let's use it all. Let's, let's just be stupid. Why not? I'm down. God, I love it how I just keep on adding more stuff to the build and then just, you know, kind of works out and I kind of love it. There's two routes that I can go. Okay, first off, one thing I want to ask, uh, how are you guys feeling about the house so far? Like day 83, I love the house or day 83, I don't like the house. It needs more or it needs less. I don't know, but I'm kind of loving everything that I'm adding to this house. I feel like the more, like the longer I'm doing this, the better it's getting. Now, there's two routes that we can go. I can try my luck and try to get at least two zombified villagers over here. And then I make an iron farm, which would then give me a lot of iron so I can actually complete this. Or I take my chances with mining and I try to see how much iron I can get in the mines over here, which honestly might be faster than making an iron farm at this point. The children yearn for the mines. Oh, hi. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh my God. Oh no. Where's my hole? Where's my hole? Where's my hole? <gasps> no, 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 no. Yeah, let's put a torch right there. Okay. Dude, I don't even know if I can actually mine this before I run out of oxygen. So then we just come around here, block myself in, and then I take away this water. Boom. Now I have my own little air pocket and I just opened it right back up to water. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that I'm seeing a lot of coal, but if I'm being honest at this point, it's really not useful for me. So yeah, if we could just keep finding this lovely iron, that would be perfect because my gut is coal common. Ooh, there's a cave nearby. Oh God. Hey, wow. Yep. Found the cave. Yep. Just getting straight into it. Okay. Oh, <gasps> my precious. Yes. And there's a lot. Yes. Nice. Okay. Well, we now have four more diamonds and I've also now just realized that I have never used any of my diamonds before, but that's besides the point. Okay. How brave am I feeling? Because there's a lot. The biggest thing that I'm scared about is skeletons. I don't really care about any of the other things because they're pretty easy to avoid or kill, but this is a really nice nice looking cave. I just really don't know how I want to go about this, but there's so much iron. I think we can actually find iron up here. It's probably a lot safer if I just stick up here instead of going down there. Sup sexy. Alrighty. Anyways, let's go find our way out of here. What are you? Don't, 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 Okay, we made it. Uh, wait, I'm back at the beginning. <laughs> okay, I like how that worked out. So I kind of like that strat of finding uh, like a deep part in the water and then just swimming into like a cave system. So, ooh, maybe we could test our luck out in here. Okay, so far really not looking good. Okay, wow, that was actually a of a cave system. Okay. Hello. Is there any iron in here or something other than stone? Oh, no, 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 do not. Do not touch me. Okay. Yep. I think we just need to get our away from here. <laughs> I think we just need to go and uh, find an actual deep pocket because this is not working. I would like to at least get a stack of iron, please. Okay, this might have some kind of a good promise. If I was looking for copper, this can be good. This can be promising, especially since I keep hearing bats. Yes! Ah, beautiful. I really wish I had a fortune pick, you know? It makes you uh, really appreciate your hardcore world. Ooh, and we got more? Well, I think we can be kind of smart and just bring a magma block with us at all times. And then boom, I just have forever air. Very beautiful. We now have 67 iron ore. Maybe now we're probably good to return back home. Ooh, ooh. Uh, hello, I see you. Now I do hear another cave system like right here here however i don't know if i want to try and find it <laughs> hello i recognize that noise you oh i oh my god i want to bring it back home so badly but at the same time that would actually just be the worst experience of my life trying to bring that thing back like 500 to a thousand blocks oh well, i i guess we can go down and have fun holy so i think just in case if i need to make a very quick exit uh, oh yeah yeah, definitely going to need a very quick exit. So now once I get down here, put torches around there. Okay, and we are off. <laughs> we gotta be very quick in here. <gasps> yes, 
Yes, I knew it. You may. Ooh, ooh. I just realized since our pick is almost destroyed, this is actually incredibly lucky that we found this. And now we have a diamond pick. Now, whoo, I can stay looting, except I'm almost out of food. So that's really not good. Oh God, no, 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 no. They are here and they are angry. No, no, no. Okay, not seeing any chests. Yes, no. Eh? Uh, I need to get back. <gasps> oh, diamonds. Hurry, hurry, hurry before something comes along. Really fast, really fast. Not going to check around the surrounding area to see if I can find more diamonds. Just go, go, go. I don't know how, but I lost the mine shaft. Whoa, oh, no way. Whoa, they're so bright and pretty. Ooh, I kind of want those. Whoa. Oh, this is so beautiful in here. Um. Wow, there was only one that was actually uh, fully grown. Okay, well, oh no, okay, we have four. Eh, not the worst. Not seeing anything important down there. Huh! Okay, perfect. Okay, and we're off. We have nearly two stacks of iron. Or we'll just collect a few more rails, and then honestly, I think we just go back up. However, now we have over two stacks of iron, so I'm happy. I think it's time to go home, and then hopefully we can get some zombified villagers and complete the house. How do I get out of here? But I can't stop myself from looting. Okay, I think at this point we just dig up. Goodbye, everybody. Not coming back. Was fun. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's hilarious. I know exactly where I am. <laughs> but now we return home and I have almost two and a half stacks of iron. That was incredibly uh, profitable. Yeah, look at this beautiful dock. Ah, love it. What? No, it's this direction. Stop. Wait, what? No, face this direction. I didn't know I had a sentient boat. Okay, so first off, uh, I need to go and get some more lava because I am not going to use any of my coal on this stuff. Um, it also probably wouldn't be a bad idea to also get some more pork chops because I'm kind of getting low. Oh, Hoglinge, who wants to donate some meat to me? Hi, you. Yes, yes, die. Yes, yes. Oh my God, there's so many. Holy, is there like a convention of just bad guys here right now? what is going on there you go yes burn yes no one can touch me when i use the power of lava oh my god don't catch me on fire oh, dude this is working out phenomenally <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, wait, there's babies right here. Okay, here. Uh, three children. There you go. Yep, you guys are welcome. I, uh, don't touch me! My god, where did you come from? Okay, please. Okay, good. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many children. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Just, just keep running over here. Yep, that worked out very well for you. Okay, so I'm only gonna spend a little bit more time here because I really don't need that much food left since, you know, we almost have only 10 days remaining. So it doesn't really matter too much. But I won't lie, it would be very fun to, you know, just keep lighting all of them on fire. I am getting- Oh my god, he did work! <laughs> Please stop walking into the lava. I don't want to lose your pork. Yes! At the very least, for future movies, I have a new strat on, you know, to get food. Okay. However, I think we're good to go home now. You know, I'm almost 30 pork chops. Even if I were to eat like three a day, I would still probably be fine because I have fish. So goodbye, nether. Was fine. Thank you for food. Everything is being smelted. We have one lava bucket on standby. Let's go and play around with the roof. How do I get up here? <laughs> so now I think I actually want the roof to come up to like this part. Again, if it ever does rain, we won't see what actually happens with this, but oh well, you know? So, oh my God, that's actually really beautiful. Oh, I really like that. So if I combine that with this, okay, that's a very big no. Um, hmm. There's a transition that needs to happen here. I, I just know it. Okay, uh, I, I'm coming to a very good conclusion. Uh, this is gonna be a lot harder than what I was expecting. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, okay, I see you. Why are you like that? Huh? No, go, no, what? Oh, huh. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what was happening there. Okay, so I like that. And then, so then if I, the slab, oh God. Okay, wait, wait, put a slab there. Uh, it kind of works. Oh God, I actually have to plan out this entire thing. Uh, I think we should just 
actually go one layer at a time. Can I put this upside down? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, we are going to have way too much fun with the roof. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a lot. This is, wow, you can actually make that look so beautiful. This looks so nice. Oh my God, I'm loving this. Okay, so first let's go around and finish up all of this. Interesting. I don't think I hate that, but definitely an interesting look it ain't much but it's honest work being an american roofer okay so first layer is down this one please no mess ups okay beautiful and we just had to have a mess up okay so why do you do this is it because of this Okay, so this has to be placed a very specific way. I don't know why Mojang hasn't added any kind of uh, like roofing thing. You should not be like that. There we go. Beautiful. Next row done. This, this might be up there with one of the best houses I've built. I might still do some work with the walls down here, but I think I'm loving this. So now we go around. This is so weird. I haven't had like any mess ups yet. Okay, yep. Everything's still looking beautiful and nice. Now, the only section that I'm now worried about would be this one. I mean, I guess we could just use oak logs and then it should be good right here. Maybe that's definitely an issue. Okay, now here's the interesting one. So if I just go through and I leave this little tiny. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good. This works. Can I fall down this? Can this fit over there? I'm going to assume no. Okay. Okay, good. So this works upside down. Fill in all of the holes so you can barely even see this whatsoever. It's really no point to it. However, I also want to go through this part. I'm going to put in the steep roof down here as well, just so it just, it makes everything look a lot pointier like this. Like this looks a lot more comfortable for me to look at than compared to like this, even though again, you can barely see it whatsoever. So now there's either two ways that we can go with all of this. One, I can just use, you know, oak slabs up here and then this will block off the roof, which it's not bad, you know, at least this doesn't blend in with the roof too much and you can actually see something you know, different right there. Or what I can do for both of them for even more light in here, I could just put glass up here. Oh, I just realized I never used this. Eh, probably doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, it all just, it was probably gonna be ugly, you know, let's be honest. Oh, wait, what would bamboo trap doors up here look like? I kind of don't hate that, but I kind of do at the same time because that really doesn't match with anything other than these. I kind of want to leave this just to see what all of you say about having like the bamboo trap doors on the roof, but I think that's good. Uh, next up though, as I was saying, I think having glass right here will look the best. Or we can make some oak glass trap doors. Ooh, is either these or the, ooh. Which this actually kind of flows in with the roof a lot better than these, given they are a lot more expensive. But I kind of like this. I like this a little bit more than these. Now, the only thing, uh, I need to get more wood. <laughs> that roof took up uh, like five or six stacks. Okay, much better. Now we should actually be able to finish everything. One thing I'm kind of curious about just to see if I can even use this. Can I actually fit this up here? I mean, we can do that. Boom, boom. Now can, oh, okay. What? What? No way. It's like I have an airplane. Woo, time to take off. <laughs> I could swap these, which might make it look even better. Ooh, after saying that, oh God, wait, I think that might actually improve it a lot. The biggest thing, can you rotate? No, you can't. Okay. Okay, so to make this work, we have these on the straight lines, and then we have the trap doors on all of the corners. Okay, so now with those placed, we can then... Please work. Oh, yes. This actually looks so nice. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually kind of proud of this. This actually looks so nice. And then if you go inside, like this is so cool. Like those just look like they belong, like they can go up, but I have it down for like ventilation just so we can have some air coming into here. And then I think this has grown on me. What if I, okay, if there's a torch on that. What happens if I do this? Okay, yep, that was a stupid question and I just got a stupid answer for that. Now, the one thing that I don't like in here is just how dark it is. Wait, I'm dumb. Oh my, I've been looking around for some kind of a light source and I can just make lanterns. Oh my, this will work amazing out here. One, can I, 
Oh, dude, I can even hang it right there. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, this place is going to be lit up more than 4th of July. Oh, this is going to be incredible. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can put any on these. No, I can't. Let's see. Can I put you anywhere up here without you looking ugly? Okay, so if I want to have lanterns, maybe I just remove the corners, go boom, boom. It's not the worst. Let's see. It might look the least ugly if we just get rid of the center one and then boom. Yeah, yeah. I like that one a lot. So the ultimate test is once it becomes nighttime, which it almost is. So we don't have to wait too long. But I did not forget. I know uh, probably a lot of you thought that I did. So we need to make some more rain gutters. Please, sir. Hopefully I don't need that much more. Okay, I made way too much. Okay. Well, just so it doesn't go to waste, maybe I can find another location, maybe somewhere in here to put everything why do i like really weirdly like i'm, I'm okay with that up there uh, mm. oh god do i want oh no why do i always have to accidentally make really good looking builds that are super expensive Ooh, fancy section okay we have three left over and i won't lie i am too scared to actually put this anywhere else like i slap it there yeah of course i like that of course <laughs> like it just oh my god i love the rain gutters it's such a good building item however i think now like if i keep adding more in here especially up here is now really looking at this i'm almost tempted to take it down because it's almost looking like way too much in here but i'm kind of enjoying how the longer i spend in here the more stuff i add and then it becomes even more busy but we're just gonna make this amount and no more so hopefully i only need eight and then we finish it off like that okay no more no more not touching not doing anything else. How, how are we all feeling about this build? Are, are we all a fan of it? When did I ever do that? Wait, because I did that there, but I didn't do it here. Wait, what? How did I miss that? Okay, so that was fixed. Don't know how I missed that. I'm glad I caught it. There we go. Okay. I think, I think I'm happy with this. Yeah, because I don't see anything else that I want to add that wouldn't take me like an extra 50 days to finish it. Oh, this place is so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to miss this house. Is that a witch? Oh, hi, beautiful. Hi, skeleton. Get away from him. Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, dirt. Need dirt. Uh, it only took like 50 days to actually get one. Oh my God. You see, I can't celebrate too much because even though we have one i have like five days for us to hopefully get another but um how you doing you know okay we should be safe hi buddy okay yeah no it's cool I, I didn't need that or anything no you you can have that dirt block i'm gonna dirt block that wooden plank do, 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 do. no no take your time it's okay okay so i need you to camp like right here okay and then don't worry, i'm gonna go get you a roof you know i'm not going to let you you catch on fire whatsoever might as well make this big enough for the other one if i get them this movie love you thank you so much for coming and joining us there we go don't want anything else to spawn up here okay sick now i can go to sleep and then uh, hey hopefully we get you uh get you a partner now for once i can actually go and get organized and now honestly God, I think the only thing... Oh, wait. First, I need to go and open that. Come down to my... Oh, God, not you. Jeez, I just heard that creeper. Oh, no, don't blow up. No. No! Oh, my God. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate creepers? I hate those annoying dirt eggs oh my god there's like three right there it's a good thing that i have so much glass so honestly i guess for today i i guess we just camp up here and then we just wait and see uh how many of them spawn in and after standing up there on the glass and waiting for sunset and i went down and finally oh <gasps> Oh, cool. Just more creep. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, man. I, I was really sad about there only being three creepers. I really wanted there to be four and two skeletons. Okay. Now, to start off today as well, because I still really need to get that zombified villager, Um, I, I kind of started to snipe all of the fish that I could see in the ocean, mainly just to see if I could hit them, which... I kept landing my shots pretty accurately. It kind of felt like I had an aimbot. It was really fun. Once I got done tormenting the ocean, I just waited. And then finally, once sunset was starting to happen, I jumped down and the first thing that I see is a whole lot of nothing. Okay, cool. That's totally what I wanted. Awesome. Wow. <sighs> 
well, hopefully I can get another zombified villager you know, pretty soon or else that was kind of a waste. You know, he needs a brother or sister. So now for the third and hopefully final day, I went up to the platform and one thing that I've realized is that I kind of showed off the house, but I never really did any cinematic shots of it, you know, and let you guys see like the pretty shots, you know, like the pretty views of it. So for anybody who cares, here's what the hut looks like. And the longer that I talk for, the more of it that you get to see. So again, I don't know if this hut actually looks beautiful or if it's really ugly. Uh, I, I think it looks nice. I'm kind of happy with what I did with it. Plus, it was a lot of fun to actually try out a lot of different blocks and, you know, kind of a different building style than what I normally go for. However, at the end of all of that, the sun was setting and it was time. Oh, please work. And on the third day, I said, let there be. Oh, it's a creeper. That's what I've always wanted. Oh my God, we actually have one. Oh my God. Oh, I don't have to AFK anymore. Oh, you are so beautiful. Okay, please don't despawn. If you do, I am never going to play this again. I swear my life. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. I can't believe we finally got one. Um, even though it's day 97 and really it's not useful. But at this point, I'm just trying to fill up my lovely hut, you know? I, I'm, it's really all I'm going for. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Okay, we just need to wait until nighttime. Alrighty. Hi, buddy. Hi, yeah. Would you like to come out and see the world? Please don't take that from me. Thank you. Look at this. I know, right? Look at that beautiful bridge right over there. That, that wasn't me who built that. that. That was someone else. But, wow, look at this beautiful place right here, huh? Yeah, you like this, don't you? Huh? Yeah, I built it specifically for you. Uh, don't get into his boat, please. And then two. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Oh my God. You know what? Uh, let's do this in the morning. I need to make two golden apples. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. And now we just have our fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, I am. I'm very nervous for this. I'm really hoping that you just do it right away. Okay. So first off, I need to damage you. Come on. Don't hurt me too much. Okay. Good. Good. Just need to get you all close together. Oh. Just go back in. I think. I think I need to hit you a few times. I'm really scared to do that again. No, not that one. The other one. I. I need weakness. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, both of them. Good, good, good. Might be an issue. Okay, I need to stop taking damage. Um, okay, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. I didn't mean to hit me, though. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That, that might be good enough. That might be good enough. Oh, I think we're safe. Oh, my God. I think we're good, though. I don't think there's any way for them to get hurt. All that we need to do now is just wait for them to actually turn into villagers. Yoo-hoo! I saw you guys changed. Ah, oh, why, hello there. Be that was weird. How did you just rotate your head like that? Why, hello there, beautiful. Why are you staring at me like this? Why are you good? Ah, uh, but finally, on the last day, I got one of the most important things in here. So that's cool. <laughs> Oh man, finally though, I have villagers in the hut that I built for them. So one thing I want to test out before letting you both go free, can you escape? Good, good. I like that huge chrome dome you got there. Okay, so they are stuck in there. That's perfect for me, bad for you. Yes, yes, I know you. You guys need a bed. Uh, that, I kind of forgot to make those. Okay, so another gorgeous thing about owning a dock. Boom, I, I said boom, look at that. I can actually put the boats in here. I'm to make docks more often. I don't know why, but it's just so pleasing to me to have this. However, oh, skies, you don't have any sheep, but I do have string. Nope, still don't like you. You really don't need to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave. Okay, thank you. And then I think, right. Oh, God. Okay, uh, right here for two beds will be okay. And then, oh, we have the deluxe suite over here with one bed. And then the final bed can go right here because why not? Next up, I don't have a farm, but it doesn't entirely matter to me. <laughs> so if I give you guys 24 potatoes, yeah, are, are you gonna be able to pop out a baby with that? In due time, we will be able to tell unless you want to do it right now. Okay, while well, they're doing some very intimate stuff of staring at each other, or they're probably squaring up. I honestly don't know. I want to clear off this, and then I I think it would actually be funny just to leave the witch right there. So I'm going to like put you at the absolute farthest point away from them, you little. But I don't believe the witch will target any of the uh, villagers in here. 
here. Let's see. Do you want to uh, keep throwing them at me? Well, I mean, even if the witch can reach over here, I don't think she's ever going to throw any potions over here just because you know, she can't really target us. Like, I don't think I can, but I'm, I'm kind of curious if you guys can make more babies with that. Okay, wow. I guess you don't want to keep the doctor away. That's fine. Whatever. I'm keeping one carrot. There you go, buddy. You want those? Are you going to do... Are, are you good? Oh, okay. Yeah. As soon as I come in here, then you just want to take them. Okay, I got you. Okay, so I guess we'll be able to find out in the morning if that actually works. Unless you want to go and give it to your buddy right now. Okay, never mind. Okay, now are you guys good enough? Like, I I, I at least want you guys to make one baby. You know, and, and then I'll, I'll feel like I've, you know, accomplished making a good villager place. Or... Are you guys just having a fight right now? Am I too close or something? Like, what, what's going on, guys? Oh, nope, nope. I most definitely am not. Okay. <gasps> there we go. Okay. Oh, we actually did it. Okay, sweet. It's safe to say I definitely enjoy surviving on one block a lot more than, you know, like the actual Minecraft world because, wow, is it a lot easier to make these on there? <laughs> I also probably could have fixed this up and made this a lot better because while I was up there, I wore, I, you know, I kind of noticed that there was a lot of fish still spawning around, so I don't even think that did anything. However, it's day 100 and I survived 100 days on a raft. Again, though, I'm very curious if you guys would like to see me actually survive 100 days on the actual raft game instead of just on minecraft so if you guys are leave a comment about that down below i hope you guys enjoyed who knows maybe i'll do 200 days on this because you know i actually really love how this world looks it's actually really beautiful but thanks for watching the movie i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time see ya